internship, there are three clinical periods here. I don't know if we'll always do externships, but there are three clinical periods. Every other school that I know of in Arizona waits till you are a senior about to graduate and then sends you on this. Nobody ever sends you out three to four months into the program. Nobody, except us. So you guys are theoretically, you know, the worst externs they've ever seen training-wise, right? The worst. You should be the worst. Your scores should be low. And I just want to really point that out. Um, and for somebody to be offering you a job and saying, when are you coming back three or four months into the thing is ridiculous. Uh, but that's, I think that happened for a lot of you. And this is your first. Remember, we have two more. They might be public clinics now. I'm not saying you're going to go out on an externship every time. But my point is, you are, you are just, and we're just finishing up half the program right now, right? This is just when stuff is kind of coming together. I think you've seen that in your learning too. So um, let's look at this. So you can all see my screen right now. I want to point out this is a five-star system. And so I want to put letter grades with this just to help people. You know, in a five-star system, if you get a, a one-star, it's probably an F. Two is D. Three is C. Four is B. And five is the highest. You can't get a 5.9. You can get a five. So a five is an A+. plus. You know, a 4.5 might be an A minus. It's hard to kind of say, but I want to give you something to go by. Does that make sense? These are five-star ratings. And this is how you did as a team. This means we, over 100 surveys, over 100 surveys we got back. Statistically, that means these are very accurate numbers about how you guys are as a team. Um, so, my student massage therapist communicated effectively with me. 4.5. These are your first massages. And by the way, to me, that's that's a score that we sometimes see with a senior class. And remember, this is you communicating effectively when you are peeing your pants doing your first massages. Like, hi, my name's Mike, and I'd like to, do you have any, and I don't know what to do, and oh my God, and I, 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 right? And you scored a 4.5 in terror on your first massages. It's a really, really high score. I hope you can really take it in. This is not me just blowing smoke. This is a really, really high score. We'd be happy with this with any class at any point in the game. You should be very proud. And also to get a 4.5 means the entire team had to do well. If one of you did really horribly, it would have pulled that number way down. There's only, there's only 13 of you. So um, my massage was customized to my needs, 4.4. That's really, really good. B plus, A minus kind of material, right? And at this point in the game, we don't expect you to be able to customize because you don't have enough moves, right? We're just now getting into the stuff. You're about to see some really cool stuff coming up. Really cool. Um, my massage therapist was cheerful, friendly, and professional. Almost perfect score. That means nobody got a bad score on this. Um, that means everybody had to get fours and above. Um, this is probably the most important skill as a massage therapist. Most people will forgive a lot if you are a cheerful, friendly uh, person. And uh, this score is completely in your control. And I'm sure that you were cheerful and friendly and professional with people that may not have deserved it all the time. Um, because I know some people can be very difficult. I know massaging massage therapists can be very difficult. They tend to be, so they can be very sweet and they can be very annoying and picky. Um, just look at me. So, um, <laughs> these are really, really, really high marks. Really high marks. I would be happy to receive a massage from my, this student again. This is like an A. We're almost at five, which is an A+. Plus. Um, that's the number one telling factor, right? Does your client want to come back to you? I mean, I talked to my girlfriend about these all weekend. Like, I was like, I can't believe this. I, I wish I could express to you how good these numbers are. This is out of five. Team of 13 students. You guys are just learning. Just learning. You were terrified. And by the way, these aren't on your grandmother. This isn't you massaging your mom who's like, it was great, dearie. This is you massaging people in the massage world. These should be the most discerning clients, the most difficult clients. This isn't even a massage consumer. I would recommend Gateway to other people. I really, really want to thank you for this because it, 
you don't just help save my job, thank you, <laughs> because it means they'll recommend our school to other people and I'll have students in the future. You do something else. When our students in the future, you're helping future students get jobs. Because when our students in the future go and apply for a job and they say, where did you go to school? And they say Gateway, they'll be like, oh, I remember a gal or a guy from Gateway. They were really good and they were really professional. And that, that, they were just four months in the program and they were amazing. You're probably amazing too. That's how life works. Life is about name dropping. And thank you for helping future. It's not just our reputation. It's what our reputation does for future students. So I, I can't emphasize that enough. I really, really appreciate what you're doing for future students who really need the job. That you're making it a badge of honor for them to be able to say, I went to Gateway. So thank you. And, uh, man, I don't even know what else to say about that. <laughs> if anybody knows, <laughs> sorry, I get a little choked up on this one. But Tap Scott loves it when you ask, do you want more or less pressure? Because because pressure to a massage is like spice to a dish. If you make it too hot for somebody who doesn't like spicy food, it ruins the entire dish, no matter how well cooked it was. If it's not spicy and they like spicy food, you would generally ruin the entire dish. It's bland to them, even if it was cooked well. Getting pressure right is most important thing at all. And asking people how's the pressure doesn't do anything. They always say it's okay. But if you ask them, do you want more or less pressure, you force them into a decision of saying, no, it's perfect, or I want more or less. 4.8 is an incredibly high score. I can't thank you enough. I didn't, yeah, just brought tears to my eyes. Yes. Um, I want to talk to you about this. So we asked two questions at the end of the survey, and we do this because kind of because of more or less pressure question, right? Because if you ask people, how was the massage? They always go, it was good. And I'm like, but I want real details about what we can change. So we ask people, what's your least favorite thing to force something out? Because if you just ask them like, how was it? They're like, it's fine. Um, and But if you ask them what's their least favorite thing, you're almost like saying, okay, I get it. Everything was perfect. But what was the least perfect, right? You're trying to force nice people to say things bad about your massage. So this question is intended to get people to talk smack about your massage. It's a mean question, right? It's meant to try to invoke them to say stuff that's gonna be bad so we can learn from it. That's why I ask it. Uh, by the way, the number one response was not applicable. Number one response was, I just can't answer this question. Even though you're begging me to tell me something bad about this massage, I can't answer it. I love this one. I got lots of, it wasn't long enough. Out of your control. It wasn't long enough is one of the nicest compliments. It'd be like at the end of this class when you're about to graduate, if you go, Tap Scott, it wasn't long enough. We want to do another year with you, right? It's one of the nicest compliments that you can get. And I saw a lot of, there was no least favorite part. Like I refuse to answer this question. I did see other stuff like draping. We saw lots of stuff about draping. I'm sure you guys heard stuff about draping. I hope you'll take this the way I mean it. I could care less. Here's why. Draping is a skill about wrapping sheets around people. And if you don't think you're going to learn it by the time you graduate, you're going to, right? Teaching you to massage is an art form. That's the hard skill to teach. Secondary contact, we got a lot of, especially from Massage Envy, because they are really big into secondary contact, which means when your leg touches their leg, that kind of thing. Um, I have found, and I think my massage professionals in the business, sorry, Miss Petrie, I saw your hand. Yeah, but I think, actually, Miss Petrie, you're one of the people who can attest to this. Nobody cares about secondary contact in the industry, except maybe Massage Envy, but I meant like the clients don't care. Secondary contact is just my, my hip touching a, the side of a table on a client's leg, which we do all the time. So um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, a preference that comes from some uh, massage chains because, by the way, they're worried about getting sued or something, but uh, it's not a big, it's not a, I'm not, by the way, trying to minimize every negative comment. These were just not things that I was worried about. Uh, and I got a lot of, not of intake questions, not of medical issues, informed consent, things like that. Uh, that's probably my fault because you know how Tapscott does his intake, right? Tapscott says, is there any major medical stuff I need to know about? Good, get on the table, right? Yes, Miss Petrie. Uh, I don't 
don't know about everybody's experience, but with my experience that I went into on this excursion, whatever you want to call it, um, I had uh, situations where people are just now being able to come into the room and they're in a hurry and there's stuff going on. You know, they, they're running late and they were set up with you and now they're already basically taking off their clothes as you're trying to stand there and do an intake form. Yeah. So it's really not going to be the most professional intake form. Right. You know what I mean? I don't know about everybody else, but that was kind of yeah. situations that I was in where they're like, oh, I'm sorry I'm late. They're throwing shoes and throwing off their socks. And you're like, okay, okay. Is there anything I need to know about? All right, let's go face down. Do you want any medication? Okay, do you have any injuries? Have you fallen? Has anything happened? Okay, are there any surgeries? All right, let's go face down. Let's get going. I'll yeah. Out of the room. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you brought that up, Miss Petrie. This is why we send you guys on an externship, right? Because in massage school, we tell you how to do the massage and you ask these questions and this is in this perfect world where nobody's running late and nothing ever happens wrong. You guys all want an externship and saw what really happens in the real world. People come flying into your room, they ask to cut the treatment short, they try to do this thing below that, they ask you, you know, it's crazy and that's why we do this. Yeah, well done, well said. Um, with breathing. One second, Everybody sir. does draping different. Yes. Every place, every single person does draping different. And they train you if they want you to do it a particular way. That's why we don't get too right. into it. Yes. There's no exact way of doing draping that's going to be exactly to how another person wants it. I usually ask them. I drape their leg and I'm like, do you have a preference on how you want to be draped? If they say no, I'm like, that. It's just like this then. You're expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. If I go work if I go work for those places that you guys want on externships, all of you, they would retrain my draping because they have a they have a corporate way of doing it their their way. Yeah. Mr. Gadaris, you were about to say something, sir. Oh yeah, I was just curious because we were talking about intake. Did anybody else get iPads? Oh, iPads to do the intakes on? Yeah. Uh no, maybe just you. You're pretty special. They probably saw you coming and they're like, this guy gets an iPad. And the rest of them, they're like, here's a stone tablet. Chisel, <laughs> chisel some answer that. No. <laughs> uh, like, I, was, I was texting Maddie and I was like, yeah, I was like, sent her a picture of the, uh, like, the thing, like, you know, it shows, like, the whole outline of the body and, like, cool. the top, which area you're going to work on. And, uh, yeah, it was just pretty cool. It, it is cool. Like, the industry is switching over to that. And by the way, there are programs you guys can download as, as therapists on your own too, where you can put in intake stuff and into your phone mm -hmm. and it will save it for you and things like that. Very cool. Thank you. Um, the only, by the way, the only comment that I saw that I think, and I don't actually, I don't know who this comment went to because I didn't look at this point, um, is needs to not be afraid to apply more pressure. So, you know me, I'm kind of a pressure fiend. So, anyway. Honest to God, there were no other uh, negative comments that stuck out to me. And these are these are ones I saw lots of, so I put these on here. Um, and, and that to me, if, if it's kind of like if that's the worst somebody can say about you, then you're amazing, right? If that's the worst, you can, I mean, that's really good stuff to hear. So let's talk about their favorite part. This is where I said, please tell us your favorite part about the massage. Some of this stuff brought tears to my eyes. These are brand new students. These are you guys. You guys are brand new, okay? Massaging people that have probably done 5,000 massages or people that work at the front desk who have received 500 massages. They know what they're talking about. They kept constant pressure throughout the session and the draping was good. Deep tissue massage a reduction in tightness of muscles and body tension. That's what it's all about. By the way, I took out he's and she's and names out of these because this is group sharing. You guys all got your individual surveys. You know who you are. Some of these will sound very familiar to you because they're about you. Um, but deep tissue massage and reduction of tightness. I mean, like that's why people go to get massage. Worked out some of my deeper knots and released a lot of tension from my neck and shoulders. I love the neck work at the end of the session. The base of my head, the occipital region, the suboccipitals. Thank you, everybody. The thing that I drove in the ground. Um, and neck always need extra attention, and they did an awesome job.
working on that area, one of the top areas in the body to work. They listen to my needs. I mean, that's what you want to hear from your, your, your kids, your partner, your teacher. <laughs> You're like, they listen to my needs. They paid attention to areas that were most tender. They could tell those were the areas I was sore the most. Excellent flow. I don't even expect you guys to have, I don't even have flow. I've been doing this 26 years. I don't have flow. You know, I don't. Excellent flow and use of techniques. Seem very confident in their approach and execution. Definitely feels into the massage. Intention and techniques are not just facilitating them. Think about what a compliment that is. Their, their intention and techniques were actually used. They weren't just, they, they just weren't just going through like a mechanical massage. They did so good. They definitely listened to what I needed and did a good job explaining what they were doing and why. I don't expect you to explain anything at this stage. I expect you to be kind of like freaking out and just trying to rub. And so you're rubbing apparently really good and explaining what you're doing. And I'm sorry to just read you the slides. You know I don't normally do that, but these bear needing, you know, they need to be read out loud. <laughs> um, my headache was relieved. Do you know how many clients you're going to have that come to you just for headaches? It'll probably be 25% of your clientele. Just headaches. They had a great calming energy and customized the massage. Yeah. I knew where the therapist was at all times. That meant the therapist had their hands on the client the entire time. I thought that was very interesting. They were efficient. You don't understand how important efficiency is. When I used to do um, practicals at the Princess and do interviews, I looked for what I call wasted time. You would do a 60 minute massage on me and if I sat there for three minutes and went, well, that's okay but it's not really doing anything for me. I wanted the entire time to be going, oh, wow, oh, ooh, ah, oh, oh. If I did that for 60 minutes, you got a job. But if I had times where I was like, eh, that's it. That's a waste of time. Boom. Friendly and cheerful. Nobody wants to take their clothes off for somebody who's not friendly and cheerful. That's just a fact of life. It's good advice all the way around. <laughs> um, I love this. They did a great job doing detail work in the lower back along the spine and the triceps. These are er these areas do not always get targeted by some massage therapists. They're talking about massage therapists who have been doing massage a long time. These massage techniques stood out to me from your student who's still not a massage therapist compared to other people who have been massage therapists for years. That stood out to me. Thorough with her communication, very knowledgeable and skilled. They did great work on my pectorals. Other people are afraid to touch up here. You guys are opening up up here. Thank you. Um, great focus on legs. Now, why did I put this down? Because everybody does a good back rub. Every time I've done an interview, and I've done 500 interviews, I'm not exaggerating, 500 people have rubbed my back for a job. And everybody does okay on the back. And then their massage falls apart on the legs and arms because legs and arms are difficult. Great focus on my legs. That was their favorite part. The hardest part of the massage was their favorite part. My specific focus areas were taken care of beautifully. It's like they're talking about a fine meal. I enjoyed lower body more than upper body. You never, ever hear that. Whoever got this, pat yourself on the back. They enjoyed lower body better than upper body. That's never heard of. Usually the massage goes downhill after you leave the back. Very professional. Held the door open for me. I'm sorry, but it's the little things in life. That is a class thing to do. And the person thought it was so classy, they remembered. And then pressure and communication. They listened to my needs and concerns and checked in with me often. I mean, that's something I hope, you know, that we say about our friends, our spouses, <laughs> you know, beautiful. Um, overall, amazing massage made my migra migraine go away, which was amazing. Again, that's your business. Uh, the application of oil, they didn't use too much. Their attitude was great. Again, people don't like to be around people with bad attitudes. You can tell they love what they do. I liked their signature move and their arm massage. 
nobody likes our massage. Whoever you are, you're amazing. They were friendly. They were very polite. They communicated very well. Pressure was wonderful. And my back isn't sore anymore. Um, calf massage was really nice. This, listen to this one. One of my biggest issues is my neck on both sides and the way that they worked on my neck made me think she knew exactly what I needed. I can actually move my neck the way it was supposed to move. We do not expect you to fix problems at this stage in the game. When somebody comes in and this is what how they turn when they look at you and then they leave and they can do this, you're an amazing massage therapist. Um, they use techniques that help me feel so much more peaceful, relaxed, and overall, all my pain was taken care of, and I felt much better afterwards. I love this, too. They wanted to learn as much as they could. By the way, every manager that got back to me from every externship said really good things. Really good things. Uh, I'm almost done. I'm sorry. There were just so many. I left off hundreds. I'm not kidding you. Hundreds. Um... So I left it to she here, sorry. She has amazing techniques already. Definitely listen to what I wanted focused on. Spent a good amount of time on the area and a good communication consistency. Their attention to detail. Asked me before flipping if there's anything more I could focus on. They did a wonderful job with my feet and neck. How happy do you think that made Tapscott? What do I think are the two most important parts of your body? Feet and your neck. Just the competence of the therapist. How many times do I, I'd love to be told, you're a very competent teacher. That's a compliment. So, last last three. The entire massage. Just loved hearing that. But listen to this. Student used their tools efficiently and effectively, using a variety of pressures, strokes, and techniques to relax muscle tissue and break down trigger points. Draping was secure and comfortable. Conversation was professional and appropriate at all times. Therapist was open to active feedback coaching during the session. Student has an active passion to learn about their art and constantly improve. I would have tipped if it was legal. If I could send you all on winter break right now, I would. I really would. And sweet and respectful and eager to do a good job. I just saw that one this morning and I had to throw it on there. So... That's your feedback, Ms. Black, but I know you have other things to do. You're welcome to stay on, but also that's that's the group feedback that I wanted you to hear. Um, so, anyway, I just, I applaud you. And can I say how much I am so proud of all of you representing Gateway so strong and yourselves, because remember, ultimately you're representing your, yourself, your future, your that's reputation right. is strong. So I am super proud of you, and I want to thank you guys for letting me be part of your class today. Those survey results are outstanding. They're really good. Outstanding. Yeah, really good. Thank, thank, thank you, Miss so Blackman. Much. And Stan, you had your, your hand raised? Yes. First of all, congratulations on the survey results. Uh, it reminds me of, this is a perfect example of luxury customer service. The bar for qual for luxury customer service is very low, but you all have exceeded it, and you should always strive to exceed expectations like you're doing. And uh, I can see that the environment that you're in, the learning environment, it looks like every one of you made a fantastic decision to join the massage program oh, for the gateway, and I applaud you all for that. And uh, you, I've got to go now. I've got to administer a final exam. Yep. But I would love to stay on the rest of the time with you. And well, it's been a fantastic experience, and I really appreciate you all. You can join us anytime. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye bye. Bye, um, bye everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Um, Miss Petrie, you had your hand raised. I do want to hear your guys' feedback. I know that not all of it was pleasant, but I honestly did not get one single negative thing about you guys. So that was really good. Miss Petrie, what were you going to say? I don't know where to find our individual uh, responses. Did they, they should have, they should have, oh, you know what? A lot of yours just came in today. And so you're going to see them in an email to you here really soon. Okay. Like today. 
but yours, I don't know why, but they didn't send, well, your first day was training, so you didn't get any that day, and so yours came in late. But uh, yes, we uh, emailed. Miss Petrie? Yeah, go ahead, sir. Oh, yes, um, the surveys just came in, and you will receive those in about maybe an hour or so. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, the, for some reason, Elements turned theirs in late. They turned them in over the weekend. And they turned a whole bunch. But I, will, I will generate those uh, as soon as possible. Yeah. And you'll see them in your canvas. Yeah. Thank you. And but they're very good. So <laughs> I was going to say, you will like them. The ones I saw, you will like. And they're pretty good. There are a lot of fives in there. So yeah. congratulations. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Um, okay. Who wants... I, I want to hear from you about your experience, positive and negative. Um, because, by the way, uh, if we do this again, here's my thoughts. And I want your feedback on this too. And I don't know if we'll do, we'll see if we have a public clinic, we won't, we won't necessarily do this again. But if we do this again, we want you to be able to choose to either go back to the place you went to or pick a new place. So to be very honest with you, if, if you didn't like your place, tell us why though, but be specific so that other students know, maybe I don't want to pick that place, you know? And if you liked your place, know that you can go back to it. They would love to have you back. There wasn't a single place I talked to that would not love to have you back. And I'm not just saying that. I would have reached out to you personally and said, hey, what's going on? Didn't get that. Every place would like to have you back. That doesn't mean you'd like to go back to every place. So anyway, who wants to talk to me about their externship experience? What you liked, what you didn't, what was working, what was not? Don't worry. This is a good time to talk to us. Miss Stanley. Especially considering how scared I was. Yeah. You, you were terrified really and you it. really faced it. Yeah, and I really liked it because I ended up not having any anxiety attacks because they did walk me through just about everything they needed to, so I didn't feel like I was lost. So they oriented you very well. Yes. And every time I had that question, literally anybody and everybody was happy to help me show me anything and it was it was very welcoming and they had the tablets by the way available but i didn't get to do that they actually printed out their old intake forms their paper ones and put it on a little clipboard for me so i can have people fill it out and i'd look it over with them and go over things and i like that a lot too i actually had one therapist come to me twice that's a good sign too so coming back yeah too. It was really, really cool. I got to work on special cases, like somebody had lupus. Wow, cool. Yeah. And I, I don't know. So I don't you, know what to say about it. I just know you, I loved it. You're not committed, but you would go back to your place. Oh, I would definitely go back. I want to go they back. They loved you, by the way. The, the manager literally used the word love in her email. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, she was really cool. They were all really cool. Good. Miss Sally. So, yes? They did. I, I was talking to Michelle. Yeah. And she's like, and she's like, oh my gosh, she's so tiny, but she has a four. She's really good. I'm like, yeah, she's good. It's and the little ones you gotta look out for. Nobody like you. And I, nobody said. I asked. I, I asked. So how was it? How 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 was the manager? They're, they're like, no, she was really good. But Michelle told me that she was like, she's so tiny, but she has she has some force on her. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm going to tell her when, I, when, I, when we go back to school. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, sometimes I had trouble getting a full schedule, though. Like, we, we had my schedule posted, and so, like, I was available to have four people a day. The most I ever got was three, and that was my first day. After that, I only had either two people or one person. And trying to find things to keep me busy was a little hard. The thing I did the most was probably laundry. Yeah. But in the between time, I didn't know what to do, so I went up to the front desk and just wiped things down for them. Yeah. They told, they, uh, by the way, a little bit of that is what it's like being a new therapist. Um, oftentimes, you don't have a lot of massages. But I, that's the part I was not happy with with lots of the sites was I don't feel like they were well prepared for you guys. They didn't plan ahead of time. They didn't get people signed up ahead of time. Um, and it's very funny because they're like, we could take them for a month. And I'm like, let's try a week. And I, I don't think based on what I heard, I would ever do this longer than a week because yeah. I'm not convinced that they have stuff for you to do for more than a week. I'm convinced that whatever you learned during that week, you can bring back to lab. But I just, I didn't hear about experiences that should go on longer than a week. I'll tell you that. That was just me. Yeah. That's my, 
my feedback on your feedback. Um, but good. So overall, it was good, but still scheduling was an issue. Yeah, scheduling was definitely a major issue, especially because a couple times I had cancellations, and then that really messed it up. Yeah. And some people would forget and didn't, like, I had one girl, she scheduled for three separate days, and she never showed up for one. Wow. Wow. Not one. Yeah. That's the other problem with free massage. We actually, we actually started making people pay for their clinic massages ahead of time, and we found out they showed up a whole lot better when we, didn't matter what, we charge them something, but they just, yeah, people don't show up for free stuff. They're, they're blown off. Yeah. I also had an allergic reaction. Did you? Yeah, the, um, this, she's really, really nice. I love her. She's one of my oh, favorite. Oh, your client people. had an allergic reaction. No, I did. I oh. Did. But she, she, um, she likes to bring snacks and stuff. So she had these apples in a cup and I like apples. Okay. <laughs> take one bite of it and it was really sweet. And I was like, oh, it tastes good. But then my tongue starts to itch and also feel numb at the same time. And I'm like, what's happening? And I asked her, I'm like, what, what happened to these apples? Cause I feel weird. And she's like, oh, there's orange juice, too. And I'm allergic to oranges. <laughs> oh, gotcha. And, yeah. So I was like, oh. But you were okay? Yeah, I was okay. I only took one bite. So I was like, drink some water. And I just felt itchy and weird for like, I don't know, 30 minutes. And it went away. But it was kind of funny. Because like, I felt really bad. Because I, I told her. And she was like, oh, no. Do you need an EpiPen? And I'm like, no, no. I won't die. It's okay. Yeah. It <laughs> Good. That was I'm glad my first you didn't die. Day. Hmm? I'm glad you didn't die. Yeah, me too. Because that was on my first day. I, I wouldn't have experienced the rest. And I got to massage a guy, and I was totally scared. And I, after I massaged him, I, I was like, why was I so scared? Because really, it's like any other person, just hairier. Uh, that's funny you say that, by the way. Because... That is exactly what I think a lot of people would say about, a lot of massage therapists would say about guys. The other funny thing is a lot of people get intimidated by big people. I, in many ways, would rather work on somebody big than little. Little, you got to be really, yeah, yeah you got to be really precise. I'm so, with, I mean this with great respect, Miss Stanley, but you're tiny. And when I work on I you, I've got to watch out for bones. A big guy like me, just, like, it's fine. Yeah. There's plenty of fat all over my body and you just roll, you know, hit me with a chair and I'm happy. It's actually sometimes harder, and you're absolutely right. Guys are just girls with lots of hair. <laughs> yeah. And I, I learned that with the size thing. One second, sir. I worked on some people my size. Yeah. Good. 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 I'm glad that people found you powerful, too, because that's that's important. Miss yeah, I was really happy about that. You seem very happy. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gandaris. I think I had more to share, but I don't know. Well, hold on one second. We'll get back to you. Mr. Gandaris, what were you going to say, sir? I just, it just popped into my mind real quick. Um, I thought it was pretty crazy. I actually massaged someone who went to school with my mom. Oh, that's so cool. So it is a, we, we call the massage industry an incestuous industry. <laughs> and what that means, it, it's really a term. What that means is that like people that were your boss one time will later be your employees and you'll run into old friends, like, because it's a small community. And so, yes. Um, uh, I'm sure you did. That's, that's a trip. Cause your mom went to school how long ago? 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I had a student up in Northern Arizona working on a client and the client said, um, I mean, she was a graduate, said, your massage reminds me of this guy that I used to really like a long time ago, but he stopped doing massage cause he went into management. He's got twins. And she goes, is it Michael Tapscott? And the lady's like, yeah, how'd you know? She goes, he was my teacher. The lady, I was her, she was my client 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And she recognized the style. Wow. She did some moves that I do. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. Cool. Uh, Miss, I'm so, I didn't see whose hand went up first. So, Miss Cooper, talk to us. Hello. I really liked it. Um, I had one of your students sit in on one of my last massages. Who was it? Gave me a lot of good tips. Who was it? Do you know who? Heidi. Oh, I love Heidi. She's an esthetician too. Yeah, she is. She was really sweet. She showed me Super different sweet. methods of draping. Super sweet. Yeah. She was awesome. I love Heidi. And I liked everyone there. 
Go ahead. They had me super booked. <laughs> okay, so your booking was not a problem. No. Like, I was like, oh, I want a break. Good. I mean, I'm sorry you're tired, but good. Yeah, but it was good. I really liked it. And so you I earned like manager your manager wanted me to leave. I gave her two massages, one at the beginning and one at the end, and she said I did better. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything will be easier now, too. I love that. But well, wait, I had one lady. I had a massage therapist. She was from, like, Russia. I worked on her. And she um, was impressed when I did Lomi. Hmm. Like, I didn't know you knew Lomi, but apparently she yeah. thinks you do. Yeah. Mr. Y showed us a video. And, I, and you do it. it. It's one of my favorite moves to do. And she had never felt it before. She was like, what is that? That's amazing. And I like explained it to her and she was like so impressed. Hmm. Very cool. Must have been a good feeling. Yeah, I love that. Miss Petrie, talk to us. Um, it was it was interesting. I got a lot of stories about the class before us. And a lot of I'm I'm so sorry for Mr. for Mr. Yabara. <laughs> oh yeah. We had we had a rough class. That's why I keep telling you guys I'm so happy. Like we had a rough class beforehand. So did you run into some of the class people? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, they they, they were in that class. Got it. So who, they were like Who was it? Um Sarah and Rhonda. They're sweet. Yeah. They were not they were not the problem. <laughs> they say hello. So yeah, I love them. You and yeah. Mr. Yabara, the, we're like, please tell them we say hello. They're like, poor Mr. Yabara. Like, poor Mr. Yabara. Like, you don't understand. Yeah. He went through H-E-L-L yeah. with this class. Yeah. We had, I, I don't, I'm not saying the people were, but we had the most disruptive class, the most dysfunctional, the least happy class we've ever had yeah, in our entire time here the, was the last class. I was told some of the stories and I was like, oh God. You guys are like a healing oh, ointment. Awful. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So thank you, by the way. And and yes, yes. So you guys are more important to us than you realize. <laughs> um, anything else? I just want to cut you off. Um, no, it was, uh, it was a great experience. I'm glad we did it. I think that we uh, probably, I think I can speak for everyone, but we probably learned more by working on other therapists and each therapist's input rather than just working on each other. That's why we do it, right? Yeah. yeah. And it may not, it may, you may not even agree with their input, their input, but it still gets you thinking and, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for the next massage I'm doing and right. see what how they respond to that. Right. Yeah. Right. See if you're actually okay. right. Um, right. Good. Yeah, because honestly, like, I think I'm a very good massage therapist. I think a lot of people would agree with me in the industry, but I only have so right. much stuff up here. I don't, like, every time you work with a new therapist, they've got a whole new thing to show you. There's definitely right. one. There's definitely one big thing, if not ten big things, you can learn from every massage therapist. So yeah, just that's really helpful. Good. And some of them even said, uh, "I love that you guys are here because it's been so long since I've been in school. I love to know if you know something new or if you're going to do something that I don't do already." It gets them thinking. Yeah, receiving massage right. gets you to think about massage. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. Right, Miss Felix Osuna, you have your hand up. You? Yeah. Well, oh, sorry. No, it's Miss Torres, and it's next, but it's closer to your name. Uh, it's the way my squares line up. I apologize. Miss Torres, you have your hand up. Yes. So I have something to say about one therapist. Yeah, sure. So she was my first client, and she wanted her 90 minutes. And so, of course, I was nervous, blah, blah, blah. But sure. I got into it. She fell asleep most of the most of the massage. Um, it was, I mean, she was chubby, like pretty chubby. So it's the first time I've experienced with that body type. 
So, you know, she kind of didn't fit on the table. So, so yeah, but I, 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 you know, I put her to sleep. We were good. So when she gets up, um, she's drowsy, you know, this and that. So I asked her for her feedback. She's like, oh, my God, you did really good, blah, 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 blah. She's like, that. I was like, do you, do you have any bad feedback or anything that I could improve? She's like, no, you did really good. Um, the only thing was secondary contact. I was like, oh, okay, that's that's not bad, okay. Uh, she's like, if I would have known, if I would have known that or not known that you that you were a student, I would have never thought whatever. Yeah. So okay, I clean my room. She's yeah. talking to the manager, and she she's not giving good feedback about my massage. Yeah. Right. I was like, okay, like I kind of heard, but I was like, ah, oh, whatever. I'm just not gonna get into it. So whatever, I left. Um, and then the next day, I gave my review, and she puts me a two on everything, like on everything. She puts a two on everything, and then the question was asked, what do you like most? And she put the details on the hands, the the massage, the details on the hands, and then she put, and then you, and then the the question was. What do you like, or what do you? You just cut out. Can you hear me? Now we can. Okay, so the the least question or the the least thing she liked about it, and she put nothing. So she put me at two, and she could have write, oh, I didn't like this, 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 and that, but she put nothing. Yeah. So. It was my first client, and I was like, oh, my God, did I really did that bad? Like, what? Like, but then I was like, no, she fell asleep. Like, if it wasn't a good massage, at least I put her to sleep. Like, she was relaxed the whole time. Yeah. So, it just, some therapist, I don't know what it was, you know? I, right. I don't know so, what it was with her. I was the only person. No. And like I said, she never told me nothing. That after. But so yeah, that what? Like, what? What? By the way, this is why we asked them, "What do you like the most? What do you like the least?" Because star rating system, we use more to kind of monitor the whole class. But stars don't tell you anything. If you tell me I'm a five star teacher or one star teacher, what do I do about that? I don't know why, right? So that's why we ask them to tell us something. What did you learn from the fact that she's telling you everything's great, and then the survey you saw? What does that tell you about people? Um, well, they're not honest. <laughs> Either way, if I was good or I wasn't, like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, no, no, it's, that's it. And, it, and my, my students that have been therapists before will tell you this. Um, people lie to your face. They, uh, not because they're liars. I don't mean it like that. I meant because that's what they do. Clients will not tell you they don't like a massage. They just won't rebook. Um, and can I, can I make a comment whenever you're done? Please. That's actually my only comment is, th is that like, that's why you want to kind of tease out information from clients. Cause they're always like, it was great. And I'm like, Oh, I don't want to, I'm not feeling that if they don't, you know, anyway, they just don't. And so you're right. Miss stories and who knows, it's very weird. I agree by the way that she couldn't come up with something. If I gave you a two out of five, I'd have a lot of reasons why you got a two out of five. Right. Um, uh, but anyway, yes, Miss Monreal, talk to us. Well, I think the fact that she didn't have anything negative to say and she didn't give her any negative feedback makes me wonder if she's one of these type of people. They just don't like, they don't put so much of an association with that grade. Does that make sense? Right. I've known people who like, oh yeah, oh no, I, I, I give that like two stars. Yep. And then it's like, okay, well... What did you think? Oh, I loved it. Okay. Well, well, then why wouldn't you give it five stars? Yeah. You know, you're, you're so right. I just, maybe to her, like, I don't know. I don't know what a five star would have looked like to her. But it, to me, it didn't sound like she was dissatisfied. No. Maybe she just doesn't know how to assess right. what the two and the five stars would be. Right. She might have rated I, you on something different, too. But you're absolutely, by the way, we had clients in clinics that I know because they were regular clients and they came to us year after year that just don't give five stars because they're like, nothing's ever perfect. The highest rating you can get with them is four stars. So uh, it's also possible, Miss 
Torres, and I'm not trying to just make you feel better, but it, it is possible she actually really liked it, was intimidated by it. Um, some people, it bothers their ego when you do a really good job. Uh, it's possible she fell asleep, doesn't know what she thinks, and she judged it on the first way you winked at her, and, and that's where you got, you know what I mean? Who knows? Uh, but, Miss Torres, for you, for your edification, people are not like you. You tend to be a very forward, front forward person, and you'll, like, if you have a problem with me, you'll talk right to my face about it and deal with it. And lots of clients won't do that. They're not like you. Just to let you know. Yeah. Um, Miss Stanley, your hands up. Yeah, there was just one person, okay, that story reminded me of her. Sure, there's always so one person. She, just to also uh, tell you, she knows you. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Her name is Nikki. Apparently she's taken some of your um, continuing ed classes. Oh, I know who she is now. Yeah. So, she was really nice, and she said that I did great and everything, but then... I saw her survey, I only knew it was hers because she was the only person that actually wasn't a massage therapist. She's working on the front desk right now. So I figured out it was hers because it didn't say she was a massage therapist. Hmm. And so Although, she, by the way, probably hers. We don't know for sure, but anyway, go on. Her complaint was the fact that I didn't do her arms. So that's the thing, though, that bothered me. Because when we were doing the massage, we agreed to not do her arms because she wanted extra time on her shoulders and neck. We agreed on it. We talked about <laughs> it. I did what we agreed on. And then she went and complained that I didn't do what we agreed we were going to do. Yeah. By the way, I actually saw that survey. Um, and I literally was, I mean, it didn't even, I didn't even, I was like, didn't do arms. I didn't, I didn't care. Like, it just wasn't something that stuck out to me at all. So, yeah. So, for what little it's worth, don't worry about it. You did the right stuff. You agreed on it. And it kind of shows you that life's not fair and surveys aren't exact. That's why I love looking at 100 surveys, is you as a group. Because there's always somebody who's got some, you know, thing. And you're like, is that accurate? I don't know. But I know exactly who you're talking about. That's interesting. Amanda. Yeah. Uh, um, she is like that. <laughs> I she heard Pablo like told me. She's, uh, like, she's cool and everything, she is. you know, but sometimes her thinking doesn't make sense in a way, like, when people have common sense, sometimes her mentality is like, what? You're doing this because of this, but then this, like, she's kind of like that. So, yeah, yeah she's the people people told me she was a little bit you, Oh, you're this, you're that, blah, blah, blah. But then you hear rumors. Because she used to work there, then she left, then she came back as a, as a, spa, uh, as a front desk. So, uh, whatever. Yeah. I don't even pay attention to it. Yeah. Yeah, let it go. Yeah. And by the way, it also, in her defense, makes her human. We're all a little bit skewed in some area, right? I've, I've been a hypocrite many times. Like, we all kind of, but yes. But anyway, let it go for, for what it's worth. It's a very small complaint didn't do arms. I And by the way, I do exactly what you did on a lot of clients. If we're running late or they want extra time on stuff, I'm like, what do you want me to skip? I said, because you're now asking me to do 45 minutes on your back and spend lots and lots of extra time on your legs and it's a 60 minute massage. So like, what are we leaving off? Otherwise we have to adjust those numbers. And oftentimes yeah. arms are dropped and that's a good thing to drop by the way. Arms would be the, Arms are very important, and I, I think I'm good at working them, but they're the first thing I would drop on a regular massage because you don't walk on your arms. They don't have anything to do with your posture. They don't affect your neck. Not shoulders, but your arms, yeah. Miss Petrie, you have your hand raised. Yeah, I was just going to comment on uh, people's responses, their comments. And if they're negative, sometimes it has absolutely nothing to do with you. Yes. It has to do with how their day is going. Yes. Or how they're looking at their day. Yes. Or something bad is happening in their life so nothing good could possibly yes. happen. Yes. So now you're going to get the complaints and the next person who serves them is going to get the complaints. Yep. And the next person who opens the door for them, they're going to get the complaint. I mean, it. you just can't make these people happy. <laughs> And maybe sometimes happiness isn't something they want to feel. And that, again, 
It has nothing to do with That's, you. You have to let it go. Yeah. Because you did what you said you were going to do. Yeah. Anybody who's going to judge you for that afterwards, their opinion really doesn't matter at that point because I still did my job the yeah. way I set up my view. That's, what, that's why you got to look at an average. Because you're right, some of the two-star reviews, those people so like you. you give them a smile and pretend it's a middle finger. <laughs> yeah, you, you love you love them to death. Um, by the way, yeah, some of those people giving two star reviews, some some you need to listen to. I'm not saying ignore all negative reviews, but some of those people right. you don't realize they go around through life and everything's a one star review. Two is big for them. That's a day that they're not super depressed is a a pretty good day, and so that's a high rating for them. Yeah, you just don't know. Um, well said. Um, somebody else, somebody else, talk to me. Others of you were I think we're in externships too. Miss Harper, now you have your hand up. Yes, sir. Um, I think um, I like I like the place. Um, they really helped me a lot. First day, I really I think I did a good job with the massage, and the second day, um, there's the massage therapist. He's really big, as in bigger than you. I mean, his his back is really like stony. And it's kind of like, how can I massage this? It's like it's it's so hard. Like, and he like a deep massage, which I try my past to do it. Sure. Um, but after the massage, I he's actually during the massage he's sleeping because he has he has like a sleep apnea. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then I I just. I just get a little scared because I feel like he's big and how can I ask him? Like, I feel like so inferior at that time. So, um, um, after the massage, he just tell me like, uh, okay, you need to ask the, you need to ask the client at the time. Okay. And he, he really helps me. He really helps me during, after the massage. I mean, he gave me a lot of advice and tips, which is for me is really good. I don't take it. I don't take it like, like I, like in a negative way. No, no. He's giving you. He's giving you helpful. I mean, if somebody's telling you how to improve, yes, he should yes, know. He should know more than you. He should. Yes. Right. That's good. He's twenty years in massage, in massage industry like you. So yeah, he should be good. Yeah, he's really good, and he talks about. Like oh, I remember Sir Ibarra, like yin and yang and things like that. And then, but he said you have a good flow, so I feel really good about that. I feel good. And then after that, there's a massage therapist that after him, I massage her back, which is she has a injury because his he has like a ribs, although she. Her ribs is a little not good. Mm -hmm. her, her scapula and and she told me, okay, just massage this area for me. My deltoid, my things, you know, muscle links. She names all the muscles that I need to massage. And then after that, she said, oh my goodness, you really did a good job. Where you you listen on what my need is, and then. And the next day, she told me, because one of my clients canceled, so she told me, okay, show me the whole body massage. So she's like my second, second, uh, first person that I give, I give to massages. And then she, she don't like the legs part, oh, okay. but she let me massage it. She don't like any therapist to massage her legs, but she let me massage it. So why? Why do you think she let you? She didn't say at first that, oh, don't massage my legs. But she just, just you know, I like you're doing it. I like you did. After I, I did the legs, she said, I never let my legs massage before. But I like how you do it. I like your pressure. I didn't feel, I didn't feel pain while you're so doing it. Do, do you hear what she's saying? I, I liken this to this. I hate liver. 
right? Even when I was a meat eater, right? I didn't like liver. But when my mother cooked, my mother's a really, really, really good cook. If my mother cooks liver, it's good. Wouldn't be my first pick, but it's good. But anybody else, forget it. So what this lady's saying is legs are her liver. Like she hates, she hates having them done. But you did it so well that sh she liked it. Yeah. Are you taking that in? Yeah. Because if you were taking it in, you'd be smiling right now. <laughs> like, like, um, she's like, she's like, I'm massaging it, but she didn't tell me to, to, to stop. She just told me like, okay, go on, do it. She just, she just didn't stop me. So I was like, why didn't you tell me before that you don't like the legs massage? So I, I didn't do it. But she said, no, I like, I like how you do it. And then in the next day, I think, yeah, the next day she taught me how to do the TMG massage. TMJ, yeah. Yeah. The, the Temporal the mandibular joint. joint, yes. Yes, and the trigger point, something like that. Nice. And yeah, so it's really nice. And then one of the massage therapists there, he told me that morning, because after the massage, I told him, um, I told I told him, um, sir, do you have any recommendation for me and advice it, advice about the massage that I give to you? And then he said, No, nothing. For the three months that you're in school, that's a really good massage. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, okay. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Well, and, and maybe he didn't know what to say, too. Maybe his only comment was, oh, it could have been a little bit deeper or whatever, and, like, you're, you're doing so well for where you're at. I, by the way, wish you all could get massages from, like, a, a whole bunch of massage therapists out there in the field. Some would blow you away, by the way. Some would really intimidate you. But you would also get some where you'd be like, this person makes a living doing what they just did to me? I mean, you would be amazed. Like, you'd be like... And I, I had therapists come in and be like, I've been doing massage for 15 years, and, and they'd do their practical on me, and I'd be like, I wouldn't let you do massage for 15 minutes. Like, that was horrible. Yeah. Horrible. I mean, a horrible experience. It had nothing to do with me being a massage per Just, they were terrible. So, yeah. yeah, I'm sure that you were, he was yeah, quite surprised. One of, like, one of my, like, the deltoid massage that we're doing, like, both like that, one of the massage therapists said, I will steal that. I'm going I'm to use that for my client. That's a compliment when they want to steal your moves. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then after the day, like Thursday, the, the manager hugged me and said, I'm going to hug you now. And tell me when you're like, um, when you're like, finish your school, just call me. Give me a call. So it's like cool. a good experience. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So you had a good experience there. It was good. Yes. I love that. Um, Miss Hunter, you had your hand up, then you put it down. Should I ignore you? Or back up. Good. Miss Hunter, what were you going to say? No. <laughs> no. All right. Sorry. All right. Um, you've got a little feedback. Back, 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 oh. back, back. Okay. Uh, okay. There's no echo now. Sorry. Good. Um, I... I was going to say something to Anna, but I put it in the chat instead, so oh. that's why I lowered my hand. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Miss Hanson. Can you repeat that? Oh, I just said Miss Hanson. I was calling on Miss Hanson. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Miss Hanson, uh, thoughts, comments? Um, I found it very interesting that the first massage I gave was an hour from just waiting. I was super nervous and I gave her a full body massage later. And then I had a couple of wonderful ladies who were very helpful and telling me how to, you know, I, I guess with training and how to just ignore certain things, like if you only have an hour just to work on what they ask for. Go over the basics, um, not the basics, but just really work on back and neck. And yeah. But my favorite massage I gave was on, it was a 90 minute massage on a lady named Susan who used to be a teacher. And so she was super helpful and just going over everything with me, and I loved that. Wow. So, 
uh, you were pretty happy with your experience. Would you go, you're not tied to this, but would you go back to the place you were at in theory? Um, I don't know. Okay. There are some things that I didn't like as well. Do you mind sharing? I appreciate you not being like all negative, but like, like what didn't you like? Uh, Okay, that's fine. And you don't have to, I don't want you to feel like you have to share, but I also want you to feel like you guys feel free to speak up if you're like, I thought they poked me in the eye and whatever, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is. Or they were mean. There's nothing like that. I just felt like, um, I don't know. I just felt like there's a lot of things that I felt like that. I really, really want to know if any of you felt less than welcome at some place too, because we probably would just take them off our list. Uh, but yeah, get your thoughts together. If you want to share, let us know. Cool. All right. Um, I I will share my experience. Please, Miss Um, I think I would say so. I did not love mine. No. Um, I even asked to speak to Mister Tapscott, and I was like, totally "We had a little chat, didn't we?" Yeah. Melt. You were not having a meltdown. Um, well, I mean, for me, it was a little bit. Well, you don't know that I was actually crying before I talked to you. <laughs> so, I didn't know yes, that. I did have, it, it was just, I. you know what? I didn't like, I didn't really love the vibe. I wouldn't go back there. Well, it was more I than vibe. Back. It was more than vibe. You, what you described, and I'm, I'm sorry to be blunt, but what you described was extremely poor customer service, not just given to you, yes. but given to their customers. Like, yes. So it was let not me a, share with you guys yeah. about the first three times, the first three days that I went in, there was different um, front desk people, and um, they hardly even greeted me. How do they know I'm not a client? They don't. They don't know who I am, you know. And um, I kind of had to ask for them to tend to me because you know how they have to take your temperature, and I was like, oh. Okay, like, are you guys going to take my temperature, you know? And then, um, any of you girls will probably know this, um, you know, like, when you walk in, but you're talking crap about somebody, and you look at your friend like that look, like, uh, right? So, I know that I caught that between a couple of the front desk girls a couple times, which I was like, oh, okay, you know, which I'm the type of person, like, I really don't care. But I'm also the type of person like, oh, okay, we're on that level. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. But I'm there to do a job, right? So anyway. Oh, I'm glad Miss Torres wasn't like, there with you. Oh, my God. We would have gotten in some trouble. It would have been on, yeah. Yes. Um, I was very, very dissatisfied with the customer service. And I was, like, watching the way that they would interact with their customers um, also. It just, it really wasn't good. There's it probably, really was the good. only way they could get away with that is there's probably not a lot of competition in Prescott because I got to tell all of you, yeah, no. nobody spends a hundred plus dollars an hour on something and doesn't expect their butt to be kissed a bit. I do. Like, I mean, it's a lot of money. Think about when you go in and buy something at a high dollar store, they're nice to you. Like it's, I just don't know how they get away with that. Yeah. So you would not yeah. go back there and you would not no. recommend to other people to go back there. No, and okay. I would never, I would, I don't even think i go back for a free massage. Right. That, that's I, honest. I would not. Okay. And as far as the other therapists, I, okay, I just feel like the whole place just had a bad vibe. Well, like, that's the problem is negative attracts not, negative, right? Yeah, I, I don't think the therapists like each other. Um. That's... You know, a few of the front desk girls were, were talking crap to me about some of the therapists. And what I love about our group is I seriously think we could start a business tomorrow and we would all do fine at having each other's backs. Yep. Even if we had a conflict, I feel confident that we would be able to work through it. And I... I did not feel any of that there, and I hated going there every day. And so, I tried to do the best that I could to, like, put that aside to put my hands on somebody and not, like, have that negative energy. Yeah. And I really did love working on the people that I worked on. Um, so I that's not, like, I didn't work on people that I 
have like, oh gosh, I hate working yeah. on this curve. But you're in a you're in a hostile so, negative work environment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. I didn't love it. I, work. By the way. I feel, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. They're 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 there. We they think they're interviewing you guys, but we're interviewing them. And by the way, I retain this information. So, like, when no, therapists. No, this was um. Yeah, this was massage and Venus Petrie. I'm sorry. Um, massage in Prescott. In Prescott. In Prescott. Yeah. And then also, um, now that I'm on my nitpicky rant, <laughs> sure. Um, I felt that um, the employees, whether they were massage therapists or front desk people, that their attire was extremely unprofessional. Um, such as like cat hair all over their clothes. I'm like, mm, okay. Um, just um, one of the therapists was wearing like short shorts, which. It was a guy, and I was like, please don't do that. I can't even imagine if he's sitting down <laughs> on the stool. Like, I don't even know. I'm like, okay. It was just. Oh, I love this. I, so, and this other guy wore the same clothes the three days that I saw him there. I was like, okay, that's kind of gross. So sloppy, unprofessional, yes. unkind, unwelcoming. Uh, as far as the atmosphere, well, when that, I worked on these people, they were very polite, you know? Yeah, but I the atmosphere the is, were low. the atmosphere is everything. Look at what we love about this class. It's the atmosphere, which is created by individual people, but it's the atmosphere. Yes. Yes. And I think like, as an individual, like, like on that basis, I'm sure these people could be fine. But yes, the overall attitude, I was just like, I couldn't stand it. I really couldn't stand it. Wow. And, okay, and this is where I was like totally crying. Because then I got on to do my evaluation, which I tried to not be like super Debbie Downer about it. I tried to look, because I didn't like the customer service then. So my review was like, I realized how important customer service was. I tried to look at what I didn't like. But then, like, turn it into a positive. Yeah, of, yeah, like, we talked okay, about that. What, yeah, what can I learn from this situation? But then I got on there to, like, to respond to other people's things, and I read some of the cool stuff they were doing, and then I was like, well, I didn't get to do any of that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just totally, like, yeah. I was being a total. No, 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 you were very kind when you, I think it's okay to share, because I know you. Uh, Miss Monreal, when she called me, said everything she just told you guys. And, um, and she was very honest. She said, what makes it harder is that, that I hear other people are like, I got to go to pregnancy training. And this moment, I was like, I got to deal with some bitches, you know, <laughs> like it just wasn't fun. And honestly, we just don't know, like, that's, that's what makes it a real externship, right? Is sometimes it's an externship. Sometimes it's an extern shit. Um, anyway, uh, I apologize my language, but it's too appropriate there. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. I suspect now that you've shared that maybe other people might have some other information to share. So let's see. Yeah. Oh, go and ahead. so if we do this again, yeah, I'll definitely be driving to Phoenix. Yeah. I'll just go to Phoenix. Yeah. 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 You've got a lot of other choices. That's why I wanted people to share it because if you hear that, like, don't go to Prescott, everybody, because it sounds like it's kind of a, a heavy, it sounds like it's a damper. That's the part that really bothers me. That kind of feeling of like, do you want me here? Do you guys like each other? What's going on? I want warm and friendly, especially when I'm new. Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. Good. I'm not good, and I'm sorry, but good to know. Well, no, it's okay. Good to know. We Thank learned. you. Thank you for taking one for the team. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, and for being so honest. Ms. Yeah, I don't think I would go back to my location. Yeah. Um, when I emailed you, too, like, I had to call my sister because I said, I don't know if I'm like overanalyzing it, if I'm thinking too much and I'm like, I expected something amazing and I should just like go on with it. But she's like, just email him and ask. So my first day it was fine. Um, I was able to get three massages in and then the next day I came in and nobody had signed up like at all. Um, the lead was there and there were like therapists who were sitting in the break room, not doing anything. They had hours like, Got there at 12, didn't have a client till like 6 o'clock where they could have gotten a massage. And she's like, go get a massage. She's like, no, I don't want one. I don't want one. So then she put me up front and she's like, just learn how to like answer phones and like look at the scheduling and understand all that. Da, da, da. 
And then the girlfriend was like, yeah, you're not going to do any of this, but I guess I'll teach you. And then I ended up massaging her and an esthetician, and they both had never gotten a massage. So then I was like, ah, they're not going to really know what I'm doing. No, but it's also weird they've never gotten a massage and they're there. Like, that's yeah. weird. Really weird. And then... Really weird. Yeah, the third day I went in, the same thing, except the lead therapist wasn't there. So nobody, like, had me do anything. And then I was just studying and stuff. And then one of the therapists came back and was like, oh, the manager quit. So that's why. <laughs> and, like, he, he didn't know what to do either because he kept asking me questions about stuff. And he's like, so how does it work? What does your schedule look like? And I was like, I don't know. I thought you got an email. And he's like, I'll have to go back. I'll have to go back. I'll have to go back. So he kept changing stuff on me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should not be laughing at your pain. But I'm picturing this guy being like, the manager just quit. Do you know how to run a massage establishment? <laughs> yeah, no, literally, I was like, you should go up and apply for his job. Like, that's what she told me while I was sitting there. You probably could, and you probably could do it better. Um, well, you learn what a flaky, it's a flaky industry. <laughs> yeah, but, like, he told me, like, I was supposed to have my own massage room. I don't know if that was, like, something. I didn't. I mean, not, that. like, that you own it, but they were, I, we said to everybody, we said, if you're taking a student, they have to have a room to work out of. Right? So if you're such a yeah. busy place that you don't have a room, then don't take a student because they can't do a massage out of room. Yeah. yeah, they have rooms open. They were just like, no, like just go in the therapist room, whatever room they're in, go do the Oh, do they? I'm sorry. That and would so, be okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, so then I did that. And then the other massages I did were on therapist and they also had never gotten a massage. So, so can you I tell us, I, I'm sorry, but I... I think it's the right thing to do. Can you tell us what location you were at? I was at the Goodyear one. Okay, good, good. I'm telling you that for people that might say I'm looking at Goodyear, and I but I trust Miss Giannis, and I don't know that I want to go to Goodyear now. Like that's just helpful. I'm very sorry you went through that, um, and I don't think you're. I don't think you're exaggerating anything. You you know. And I know it's hard to speak up. And by the way, I told my girlfriend about this over the weekend. I talked about you and I, I read your email and I talked to Miss Monreal. Um, and I said, you know, if it was coming from somebody that I deemed very negative, I would just ignore it, to be very honest with you. So if you were kind of this student who's always bitching and things like that, I'd be like, oh, there's Miss Giannis again. Of course, she's not having a good externship, right? But everybody in this class knows how you are, right? And and you too, Miss Monreal. Um, and we know that you're not one to find negative where positive can be found. And it sounds to me like you tried to find it, but it, they sound like at the bare minimum they were very disorganized. Yeah. And losing a manager can make you very disorganized, so who knows? It might have been a one-off. Well, but... That wasn't their first one, though. It's a common <laughs> thing. Right. Yeah? I thought the word in Avondale. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I meant Avondale. I said good year, but I meant Avondale. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so what you're also saying is you heard, and by the way, we don't mean to gossip about these places, everybody, but it, it helps you when you're deciding to get a job. You heard that they go through managers very quickly. Yeah. And that could be a sign of a systemic problem. Lots of turnover at any place. You know, if, if, if I had quit this job and you had another teacher and then you had another teacher, you'd be like, there's something wrong with Gateway. Um, so yeah, turnover is a, is a sign of, of problems. Yeah. If they're losing multiple managers, it means the manager's under a lot of pressure and stuff. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank thank you for taking one for the team. Thank you for, by the way, being brave enough to speak up about it. I know it's it's hard. It's a lot nicer to say nice things. Um, yeah. Okay. So you would not go back. That's good to know. And you won't go back. Um, okay. Miss, Miss, I just want to, uh, Miss Hanson, do you still have your hand up? Or is that an accent? Yes. No, I'm free. I raised my hand again. Okay, so you're ready. So, um, I guess the negative for me was the manager was super sweet, but I don't know if she had other locations, so she was hardly there. Got it. So just ma so, management. Yeah, so the first day she came in and told me, like, how to clean a room, where it's going to be, and then that was it. Like, I asked. If I was supposed to be, like, I would ask the front desk, like, should I be helping you? I mean, luckily I was mostly booked, but I did have some downtime. Yeah. And then I'd be like, no. And no one told me how to do, like, laundry or anything, so I didn't do any of that. Got it. Um, so I would watch massage videos. Um, but at the same time, like, multiple people would say, don't get stuck here. Don't. This is a good 
good starting spot. Don't get stuck here. And that's people that are stuck there telling you that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they would say things like, um, this is like fast food. It's you're in and out. So like it's the fast food of massage. And um they would say don't let management or front desk push you over. You stand firm with how many massages you want to do and what you want to do because they'll just pile it on you. So I guess those were my negative. You're gonna and by the way, you're gonna hear negative things everywhere. But yeah, no, that's really helpful. Right. And by the way, everybody, I hope this lets you know that it's actually not, in my opinion, it's not about massage envy or elements of a princess or it's really about individual locations and how they're managed. Right? You can be at a great massage envy. You can be at a terrible massage envy. You can be at a great elements, a terrible elements. You can be at like it, it depends on how well they're running that place, how busy you are, things of that nature. Um, okay, I'm seeing lots of hands up. Miss Stanley, you've had your hand up for a long time. I wasn't trying to skip over you. I was just trying to get to new people. Uh, is it up for, do you have something else to say? You're, you're muted, my dear. Sorry. So it's more of a question for later. Yeah. I just wanted to have that there so we could both remember. Okay. So it's it's not really important to what we're talking about right now. Okay. All right. So you can call and ask other people. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. All right. I don't want you to forget about me. I, how could I ever forget about you? Be like forgetting about my arm. Couldn't happen. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Kandaris. My two seconds. Well, 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 well. Um. All right. So I just thought it was interesting. Uh, I'm gonna kind of say the opposite. No, that's fine. We want to hear that. Like, I, first of all, I mean, I'm sorry for anyone who had a poor experience, but I thought it was interesting because I went in with actually low expectations. I'm like, oh, it's massage. Now. Alright, let's yeah. do this, whatever. No, you went to and a good one. I was actually, I went to a really good one. Like, I was impressed. I mean, they had iPads. She said that, you know, they have over 4,000 members there. And I was, I was surprised when guys were like, oh, I couldn't get books. I was like, what? I was like, I had four a day, 16 massages, the whole, like, you know, four, 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 four. Yours was um, professional, booked, solid. Yeah. They were and ready the for you. The therapists there were great. I mean, there was one guy, Carlos, he had been there for 16 years. And same location. Just, just, yeah. So, I, I don't want to divulge. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm you, but yeah. I don't want to divulge too much. I don't know how much I should divulge. But Massage Envies are independently owned. Massage Envy is a franchise. And so, many of you that went to a particular owner had a really good experience. Um, and, um, and that, that could be part of it. It's, it's, it's possible that the owner is training the managers really well. And so that whole chain is, is better. But, uh, between all of you, you were between like five different owners. So it just depends on, that could be part of it too. I don't know, but I'm glad you had a really good experience, sir. I, um, yeah. if everybody had a terrible experience, then we would, we wouldn't even entertain this at all. So this is very helpful. And do remember, it was like our first time. It was their first time. So I was expecting something, you know. And you've been like afterward a couple therapists. Like they like, you know, they knew I had a half an hour to an hour break. And so they would like take a couple minutes of me and uh, show me some of their draping or, you know, some of their techniques. And I thought that was really cool. They even had me jump on the table and show me a couple things. So, so you were welcomed into the massage community and they, they spent some time with you. Which shows there's a really good feel good energy at the whole place if, if multiple people are being good to you. That's good. That's what I want to hear. So you would go back. I would actually. Yeah. And I thought I wouldn't say that, but yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah. They want you back, by the way. They wrote me an email. They loved you. They want to hire you. Right. Yeah. Of course. Of course. It's yeah. Mr. Kandars. The only thing that I thought was like kind of eh was the sheets. Those sheets are awful. And they didn't have fitted sheets. And then you got to put a sheet over the blanket. And there was like too many sheets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, laundry is ex a big expense for these places because the sheets never last that long. And they usually buy really cheap ones and swap them out a lot. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, 
Let's yeah. so, so many hands up. Okay, Miss uh, Miss Petrie, you had your hand up. Oh, actually, people had their hand up before me. So I know. I was just trying to like. I was all right. Miss New Yen. Miss New Yen. Oh no, sorry. I thought it was Mr. Yen because it was by you. Sorry, Mr. Yen. Miss Torres. Torres, your hand is up. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I didn't finish earlier, but other than that, I recommend my place too. Uh, you liked it's it. It's a marketplace, a uh, Tempe marketplace. Everybody, the managers were really good. They welcomed me really nice. The therapist. Um, Everybody had their own thing going, but um, everybody took the time with me as well to go over stuff, and they were friendly when we had time, when we talked, uh, so I also recommend my place. Good. That's, um, oh, go ahead. The only thing that I would say about the place, it's a little dirty, like I don't really take the time to clean, and I'm not used to that, so I clean their break room. Oh, that was nice of you. That's very I, nice of you. It was dusty. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then, uh, like, uh, where did you guys have the cleaning thing and stuff? It's like, oh, we run out. I'm like, what? You guys were run out at this time? And then they're like, no, there's some. You just have to make it yourself and this and that. So I think that's the part of, I think they're lazy about it because you kind of have to make your own cleaning stuff and, yeah. you know, whatever. But other than that, eh, everybody was really cool and the place was nice. Have you guys want to go over? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's a pretty high compliment. Um, be, I, the cleaning is not is disappointing, but like any place you walk into, if you walked into the school right now and everybody talked to you, they'd hear a lot of nice things. But you guys would be able to come up with some things that are pretty annoying about this place. Um, so that's a pretty high compliment. And by the way, Ms. Torres, they they did something else really cool that you don't know about. Right before the internship was going to start, they realized that you worked for another massage envy that's owned by a different owner and your massage envy would not typically want to take you because they don't think you're going to work for them ever. These other massage therapists think massage envy locations and elements think they've at least got a shot that you might want to work for them one day. Right. Um, and that owner of the place you went to was like, she's never going to come work for us. She already works at their massage envy and he took you anyway. He said, but nope, she wants to be here. We're going to, we're going to provide an externship for her. Um, even though he knew, we're never going to get her, um, which was kind of commendable. We're, we're, with everybody else in the class, they at least think they've got a shot. You know, you might actually work for them one day. So thank you for sharing. Did you have something else to say, ma'am? Yeah, she did. She told me, like, you're welcome. Oh, she had me, she got me Starbucks, too. So, yeah, she's, she's uh, I said, they, they, are, they were pretty awesome. Maybe you should work there. I mean, Starbucks. Kind of, that's, yeah, pretty good. I know, right? <laughs> Was there noticeable differences between your work and the place you went? Oh, yeah. Was... Um, yeah, on the cleaning part. Just clean. I was going to say because our clinic is pretty, it's pretty clean, and everybody was always there cleaning and disinfecting and doing things. Um, usually the same people all the time, of course, you know. And other than that, um. No, I, I I felt that they were they were kind of the same. Everybody was super friendly, and they had a lot of experience. They have therapists that have been there for like 10, 15 years, <laughs> same in the location, so that makes a big difference. Cool. Good question, sir. Thank you. That's cool. Um, Miss Monreal, you have your hand up. Yes, I almost forgot what Sorry. I was going to say. Um, so, um, this is more like for you because um, I don't not. Well, okay. Um, I don't know what your interaction with them was, but also when I was asking them like questions like, okay, so like, what are the rules or what? And I know that you know that I was confused on time or whatever and they just basically said I don't know he just like called up and gave us your name and number didn't really say anything else just that you were going to be doing massages so like for me I was like 
okay. So it was like hard. I don't know if that's what your conversation was with them. Okay. Yeah. I'm not. By the way, I'm not trying to cover my. But they got a detailed. No. They got a detailed numbered list of do yeah, this, no. don't do that. They have this is the recommended schedule. They must work these hours. Uh, and, and it even said things like I don't know. You know, please understand these these are new students. I mean, it, it, very detailed stuff. Um, and that doesn't mean that they read that email, but yeah. but the point they is, yeah. yeah, supposedly okay. they all oh, yes, and um, okay, yeah, we because we wanted to outline the thing, right? So I mean, because after we spoke on the first day where I left early, didn't exactly because you know to them I was like, okay, well now what? And they're like, ah, you're good. I thought, oh, yeah. oh, oh, wow. Yeah. I got to leave early. Yeah. And why not? So the next day, I was like, well, shoot, well, what time is I, am I supposed to be in? And I wasn't sure, like, because our, our class starts at eight o'clock. So I'm like, well, am I supposed to be there at eight? But I don't think so. And so, anyway, I just showed up early anyway, but just because I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to cover my butt. So when, when I got there, I was like, so, like, what time am I actually supposed to be here? And they're like, I don't know. But, so, I yeah. didn't know if you hadn't, like, communicated with them exactly what it was supposed to be. But I did want to check on yeah. that. No, I 100% yeah. did. But guess what I didn't do? And I'm really embarrassed about this. And I apologize to all of you. This is just a, I'm just being stupid. I definitely did that with them. But I didn't do it with you. I should have come back and said, here's the exact email I've sent them. Oh, that would have been a good Now idea. you can yeah. see it too. And now we kind of have stuff to bounce back and forth. Instead, I, I was so worried about setting it up with them, setting it up with them, that I didn't kind of come back to you. And I just, I, I blew it. I was a poor manager. And okay, so, I could, yeah. I could confirm that because my the manager there, she, he told me, oh, Oh, Michael said this, Michael said that, Michael wants this, Michael wants that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Because like, yeah. I was like, am I going to have somebody back to back? I wish it was going to be my break. No, but I was asking all these students, like, no worries. We He he wrote us a detailed letter saying exactly where yeah. you at, what he wants from yeah. us, and how we should put you on the schedule, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, okay, then he yeah. knows. Yeah, and I put maximum limits too. I said, oh, I "Hey, these." That. I said to them too, "Hey, these guys have never done more than an hour or two of massage a day. You cannot book them for over four hours." I said, "You can book them four hours, but you can't book them over four hours a day. You'll kill them. Um, that's a lot right there." So yeah, we'd send out all that, but I didn't communicate back to you guys. I need to take ownership for that. So, Miss um, Petrie, it's got to be your turn now. It's got to be. Um, I thought management. Uh, both Monica and Sue, I really like them. Good. Um, our first two days, because uh, me, met myself, Trang, and Diamond were all together. So for the first two days, I felt like wasn't as organized. No. But they also had a lot of stuff going on. Well. So they had they they had people coming in for classes. So the cool thing about Elements, just to give you. A little taste of it. Yeah. The cool thing about Elements is that um, they show you their way of doing pregnancy, their way of doing cupping, their way of doing Himalaya salt, their way of doing um, essential oils. They show you their way and they train you in every single one of those ways before you can start. Yeah. As soon as you have all of that training in, then they put you on the floor because now you can do all of it, which puts more money in your pocket. They give you the ability to make yourself more money. So because they don't sell anything, there's absolutely no product to buy whatsoever. I know. I actually kind of like so that about you them. You sell yourself. Yeah. So you basically um, put out there that, hey, I recommend that you get this type of massage. If you get cupping done. And we use this kind of oil, the CBD oil, next time that you come in, in the, in the amount of two weeks. If they book that with you, you just got more money in your pocket. Beautiful. So you completely sell yourself, which I love. The cleanliness 
on top of it. I mean, those places were, those rooms were beautiful. Yeah. They did a beautiful job. They have these beautiful blankets laid out. I mean, the places were beautiful. They're very nicely done. They're very clean. Um, they, they gave us everything that we needed for our rooms. Like, they made sure that we knew what was needed for our rooms, like how to make a bed. So that orientation way. was really good, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. I think it was. You? I mean, Sue, we walked in on our second two days, and Sue was on it. And she booked us. Yeah. And she so. made sure that people were responsible. She's like, if they don't show up, they have to hear from me. Because this is disrespect. Yeah. And I don't <laughs> tolerate disrespect. So I'm really glad to hear that. Um, by the way, Sue, to Sue and Monica's credit, I love, uh, so you were at a massage envy that's owned by Pam and Nelson Crespo. Element. Ele I'm sorry, you were at an Elements owned by Pam and Nelson Crespo. The Crespos yes. own three or four Elements out here, and they own the first or second busiest Elements in the nation. They, they, so, yeah, go ahead. So the Promenade, um, the Pinnacle Peak. Yep. And then the, uh, is it Thompson Peak? I Pinnacle think so. Peak, and somewhere, uh, uh, there's another shopping center. They, they have those three locations, and Sue and Monica run all that three. management, all three. Yeah. And so, um, and they're, they are very yin yang. Yeah. Like, Sue, Sue explained how, Monica likes to do these things, and she's great at these things. I enjoy doing these things, and I'm great at these things. So together, we make quite a team of making sure. sure that everything is rounded. Wow. Well, anyway, it's very good to hear that. And what I was going to say is, to their credit, I don't think Pam and Nelson realized how fast this was going to happen. And we've been talking for months about this. And so I could tell that right. Sue and Monica actually only got my email and everything they had to do a few days before this happened and so they well, were like they would have been more that prepared Monica was going through a lot a girl had to call out because her kid was sick so she had to leave and go pick up her kid and take care of her child over the week oh, over that week yeah and so monica would be the only person working right and she and she, she basically works 60 hours a week anyway yeah she she goes i practically live here so. Yeah. Ma massage management, by the way, because many of you will get offered a, a position as a manager when they realize what a good therapist you are and how positive you are and something like that. I'm not saying don't go into massage management. It could be very neat, but it is not easy. Right. It's <laughs> it, a lot. It's a lot. It is it's real, a they lot. work hard. And they yeah. work hard with all sorts of difficult situations. Yes. But I felt that with every therapist I spoke to had a highly things to say about management how people work together there, um, the respect, um, the cleanliness. Um, I just felt there was this uh, really good group at the place, because we were at two different places. Right, so you really got to see. And then the people who mainly work with Sue and I got to work with, just had the kindest things to say about her, like how awesome she is as management. They're like, she's not just like some kind of corporate manager, like she's a manager who cares. Yeah. I mean, deeply cares. Yeah. And they take care of each other. Wow. And if there's a situation happening, they figure it out as a team. I mean, it was really something cool to watch. So you were- I've been, I've been at other places. You have. You've been a lot of yeah. other places. So you were impressed. Yeah. I, I was very impressed with them. Because they, 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 were, they were impressed with you. I, I really I really like them as, as a team and yeah. as a working team together. And the therapists get along great together. Mm -hmm. They would be in the break room and they all have conversation and eat lunch together. And one person would be like, hey, will you order me lunch? I have to go and do this massage. And so they would. They would order lunch for each other, help each other out. Uh, there needs to be a room that needs to be done right away because they have to change out right away. People run to help each other. Oh, it was wow. really cool to watch. 
Uh, that says a lot. Was, yeah. I mean, not to say that everything was perfect. No, no. You've got reason. You know what it's like, so you have reasonable expectations. But you're right, telling me, right, you're right, telling I me mean, in general, there was a family team feel. Yeah. That's a big yeah. deal. That's a big and deal. They you, and they give you options. Like, like one girl said, oh, you know what? I have three kids at home. I have three young ones at home. So I am now going down to two days a week, and it's not an issue. They will really try to do everything they can to work around your schedule. Yeah. So if you can only do on-call, the managers even said, if you can only be on-call, we have on-call for all three locations. So you do what you're able to. Got it. Very cool. So you yeah, would, you would, it's kind of like this big idea of options. You would consider going back there. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. You, sounds like you'd even consider working there, depending. Um, depending. Yeah. Got it. I got you. I got you. I know you're not a chain I mean, person. I'm. I'm. I'm in. A, I'm, I'm in a weird place. Sure. Of I've had so much freedom to be my own person. Yeah. I know. To say whatever I want to say. Yep. And, and not have to do the corporate thing. And yep. have a job that yep. way. Yep. I've liked, by the way, you and I have done both, right? I've right. liked both. I thought I wanted to be all independent all the time because you're right. You can say what you say. You set your own schedule. But I also found out you also deal with a lot of baloney. And when you work at a corporate place, exactly. you do what they say. But guess what? You walk in, you rub, and you walk out. And somebody else deals with exactly. all the other stuff. And I started finding out, yeah. oh, it's kind of nice being a cog yeah. in a big well, us and showed us exactly um, what happens with payroll, like how exactly it works and okay. how you're able to um, make more money. And these are the ways, I mean, she went through every stage. And so that was really cool that she was willing to show us that of what kind of opportunities you can make for yourself. I love it. Um, and uh, so, so I, I really liked that, that she did that, it felt like she really cared. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, she really thanked us for being there, for choosing. She goes, because I know this was a choice. Yeah, they're good about for knowing. For you guys to choose to be here, we greatly appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Uh, by the way, it's a it's an employee's market right now, everybody, just to let you know. That means there's more job openings than there are massage therapists. So you guys get to right. pick where you want to go, basically. And they have to like you and whatever, but you get to pick where you go. There are 36 massage, I know you're not talking about massage envy, but there are 36 massage envies uh, in Greater Phoenix. All 36 have multiple openings. I don't think right. there's a massage therapy place in town that doesn't have an opening. So getting a job right after COVID, you being the first graduating class uh, when we're kind of getting through COVID, the sky's the limit for all of you. Thank you. Well, here's the other cool thing, Please. Mr. Tapscott. You can totally relate to this. So how they book things, you have a 15-minute window oh. after every service to get your room ready, to be able to have time to grab a drink, to be able to go out and actually greet your customer and bring them back. You know what I mean? Like there's a 15-minute window before you even have to grab your next client. I'm like, where else does this happen? Right. <laughs> that, that, that never happened. Change over time is big, everybody. Uh, it takes a little bit of money we out of your pocket. We didn't have away. that because we weren't actually on the schedule. But, but you would have. The therapist on the schedule, sure. they have a 15-minute window after every appointment. She's saying this, by the way, places book in two different ways in general. They book 60-minute massages with... 15 minute periods between them. So you'll have like an eight o'clock, a 9.15, a 10.30. It's a one hour massage, truly one hour with a 15 minute break. Other places book 50 minute massages with a 10 minute break. And you'll have an eight o'clock, a nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. Well, a 50 minute massage is hard to do for one thing. It's hard to do a full body in 50 minutes and it's hard to change a room in 10 minutes. Changing the room's not so bad, but walking the client out and saying goodbye right. to them, changing the room, right. going to the bathroom, picking up your next client. And for some, 15 minutes gives you 50% more time. It doesn't sound like a big difference, but it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. It's, a, it's an interesting decision to make uh, for quality. Yeah. And you keep the same room. That is very helpful too. So, Miss Peach, you Unless came from. it's the couple's room. Right, you of keep course. The same room. Of course. That makes sense too. And so they have a name tag on your door, a magnetic one. And you just stick it to your door 
on the side of your door so they know that that's your room. Wow. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I love it. Thank you. That was a lot. Uh, just want to make sure you didn't have something else to say. Okay. Miss Belotic. Miss Belotic, please enlighten us with uh, your thoughts. They they absolutely, I remember you went to a place where they absolutely hated you, right? And um, they told me they like went nuts about you. They sent me this big long email, a couple of emails about you. No, um, also, you didn't call on me on gratitude. So. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want anything because they're like guests and stuff. So. Oh, that was very sweet. Hey, but well, then, yeah, what are you grateful for today? And I'm so, 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 so sorry. It's okay. Um, I'm grateful that I finally get to see everyone. Um, I'm grateful that because my boyfriend, he gave me a little massage yesterday. And I could tell he's trying to do techniques that I do in class. So. Is really cute. He's, he's trying, trying to be a good boyfriend. But he's, you know, he's trying, so. That's all you can uh, ask. My experience was good. I really liked the manager. They really she liked you. She was super nice. And the people were cool when I worked on them. But out of, like, me working on them and being them being my client, they all seemed distant from each other. Mm -hmm. Like, not family like us. Yeah. And I think that was really weird um, got it uh so i'm trying to think like put my thoughts together no it's good um, this is how, so it lacked a family team cohesion environment like it was well managed and and you had stuff to do and people were okay polite to you but it did not feel like a warm like hey everybody's a team here what can we do to help one another and yeah and so would, let me ask you this this is just a really blunt if you got like all these places to pick from. Would you go back there again based on that experience? Um, I would go back for the manager. Interesting. And a few other people. But so I the manager helped them. tip it over the edge for you. Yeah. If and I actually asked someone, I asked an esthetician that was working there, and I was like, is she, um, I told her how it's kind of distant in their workplace, and she was like, yeah, it's been like that. Um, they had a previous manager about six months ago who wasn't good at all. And so the manager that I had was new. But she's like, you know, trying her best to fix up the place. And she's doing a good job, but it's just everyone is so, I don't know. They're like there to work and then just leave. Um, yeah. It was weird. Like it didn't seem like they all like loved being there, which I don't know if I would want to work in that kind of environment. Uh, it sounds like every day it could get kind of draining. Yeah, that too. So, but it was fun overall. The people I had were cool. I was booked a lot. I had about four massages every day, except for on Thursday I had three. And um, I don't know. I felt really lost when the manager wasn't there because I yeah. didn't know who to talk to. Like the front desk people were okay, but I didn't feel very welcomed. So, I don't know. Um, no, that's actually super helpful. I, you know what I'm hearing from everybody that's amazing is like, for one thing, one good person could change an entire place, it sounds like. Like, thank God for that manager, otherwise the whole place would not be great. Uh, and a couple other people you ran into. And, um, it sounds like you guys really care about the work environment you're in. I, I, I think you should. You spend a lot of time at work. But it's not just that. I feel like places where everybody is a team, the clients tend to do better there too, right? All the problems are less. Um, so that's really good feedback. Yeah. I think it's a door. I, I, I feel, by the way, terrible stripping over you. Um, and gratitude. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not because I don't think of you. It's just there's a lot of people. And I'm like, eh. Um, but I think it's really cute. Your boyfriend is like, he's trying to be a good massage yeah, yeah. therapist. He's really trying. That's, Maybe if you got a boyfriend that tries at anything, that's great. Like, he's just, he's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, and he makes you smile. <laughs> But I think that's all I have to say. Other than Love it was you. fun. It was a fun experience. I got, like, good, you know, advice. So. Yeah. So, okay. So, over, but it was overall a good experience, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. All right. Um, and so you might go back just based on the manager. Who knows? Okay. Um, 
Miss, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to go around here a little bit. Miss Cooper, you have your hand raised. I believe again, I believe when you're in your bathroom, if you're not in the middle of something, Miss Cooper can, oh, there you are. Hi! You just froze, though, too. Miss Cooper, can you yeah, hear I'm me? Here. Oh, I good. Um, yeah. Talk to us. So, um, mine was, um, it was just an interesting, an interesting experience with the manager because she was just started working there. She's the new manager, and she doesn't have a background in massage. She's never been a massage therapist. Like she did cosmetology, but she just like didn't know what she was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not going to be rude, but. Like, her saying she would hire me and stuff, and, like, saying I did a good job didn't really hold a lot of weight because she's never been a massage therapist. Um, but she was sweet. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Oh, and I could tell that... Shoot, you're cutting out right now, and I really want to hear what you're saying. <laughs> Can you hear me? We can kind of hear you. are kind of cutting out. Now? I think it might be better. Yeah, talk to us again. Say that again. But can you hear me? Not long. I feel like so we're on a Verizon that I could tell her staff. Her staff really loved her too. Oh, good. But I could also tell that they didn't really, like, they were kind of like not really listening to her because she didn't have a background in massage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they don't respect you. They're like, we know. Yeah, that's true. Stuart helps if you're a massage therapist. So that is a future, by the way, for you guys, if you want. If you ever get tired of massage, mas massage management, which is hard, is an option. That's something to think about. Yeah. Or if you're really crazy, become a teacher. Um, anything else, Miss Cooper? Uh, uh. Jasmine, I met Madeline's massage. <laughs> I gave her a massage. You, uh, who's? Who did you give a massage to? Uh, I gave a massage to Jasmine. She's the manager of uh, Maddie's. Oh, cool, 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 cool. I love that. She's awesome. She loves Maddie. <laughs> oh, I love that. Good. So overall, good experience, though. It sounds like. And it yeah. really helps to have a sweet co-workers, manager, like even if they're not the most organized, sweet goes a long way. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, she cared. Yeah, good. Yeah. That's all you can ask for sometimes. Thank you. Miss Harper, did you just leave your hand up or do you have something to say? Yeah, I have something to say. Please. Um, I recommend the massage place where I go to, when I went to. Um, it's the Northern. Um, I would like to go back there, but if other, other of my classmates want to experience also to go there, yeah, it's... No, what we would do is if, if, if we do this again... Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I really think we'd make sure you could go back to the same place you wanted to, and if somebody wanted to go to your place, we'd talk to them, and I think you'd find that, that they would be like, we'll take two students, like, that's fine, you know, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah. yeah, no, I really like hearing that, um... I don't want to reward places that that weren't warm and friendly, that didn't have good scheduling by sending them students back. Like that, that I'm supposed to look out for you guys. So yeah, no, yeah. Miss Harper, if you love it, you can stay there. Um, yeah. we're, you know, they want you to, by the way, every place wants you to come back there. Like that's not a problem. They want you guys yeah. to work for them. I didn't have a single person that told me they didn't want a student back. The manager is so nice and she's prepared. She's kind of like, yeah, she has a schedule for me. And if one of the therapists is not showed up or the one of the client, they call, they call them and wanted to know what happened. And then they, they like, um, reschedule and do something on, on how they can help me out. And then, um, the place is also nice. It's clean. It's, it's supervised very well and the massage therapist there is like, they're like a family 
they're like teasing each other. You know, like like the the the, the client, the therapist that I massage, one of the one of the massage therapists then there is like telling me, Oh, you can hurt her or you can hurt him. You yeah. know, it's like it's like a joke joke style yeah. I think. And it's like it makes me like laugh at them like, Oh really? I love that. Yeah, Good. it's just a nice experience. I'm glad. I, I, I'm glad you have the kind of experience we want you to have. That That's good. Good. All right. Well, that's good to know. Um, anything else? I just don't want to cut you off. No. Okay. All right. Ms. Torres, you still have your hand raised. Is that, do you have something else to say? Yeah, I wanted to say something that you said earlier about the owners. Yeah. And where um, my, the the clinic that I the, that I worked at, which Amanda went and Joe went and Anna went, they're the same owners. Yeah. And so we maybe. Ha, we talk about different about them. So sometimes it's not even about the owner. Right. No, true. Um, it's about the management yeah. and the people that work there. So yeah. And by and the way, it depends on the days. Like it there's does. Days where. Sure. It, you're, you're absolutely gonna right. Be like talking all the time, and there's, there's days where like it's gonna be quiet. And nobody's gonna be talking to sure. to each other. So, it's business. Yeah, it varies. Like no, you're right. And and an owner can have a powerful effect or not on a place. A manager can have a powerful effect. And and by the way, the employees do too. And sometimes you inherit. Sometimes you buy a place or end up being the manager of a place that already has lots of problems from something previous, and it takes a long time to change that. So who knows? It could be a lot of things. Thank you for commenting. You're absolutely right. It's not necessarily the man, the owner group you're in. Uh, you're absolutely right. And I, you're right. We see differences within owner groups too. So good point. Uh, Ms. Petrie, you still have your hand up. Is that on purpose or by accident? Nope. She's like, I'm done. Ms. Cooper, you still have your hand up. Is that on purpose or by accident? Nope, you're done. Accident. Okay. Um, all right. Miss Nguyen? Yes. What did you think of your experience, uh, your externship? Uh, I think uh, when the, everybody work on the spa need to be quiet and uh, look to uh, the care for the customer more. Oh. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, you know, uh, customer something say very nice and something that and they sleepy and but you should need to check for customer when the massage. I mean, uh, sometimes customer uh, they have something for problem when you massage you don't know but you should need to care and ask you uh, how are you feeling and uh, sometimes care for day and the, the 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 second thing I I think is the need to set up room quick and uh, cleaning and uh, something in the make for customer very relaxing uh, yeah. for you know, for room and the make for customer comfortable when they come to inside and welcome to keep come back and. Uh, and um, um, so um, I think in the more important uh, need to in the do what customer need. I mean, and uh, when in the I do some for uh, for customer. Um, okay, in the worker in the on there, but I think in the my customer, I show up they uh, when the pocket in the you want me work on, and they so say about the they need in the neck and lower back and. Uh, Lower back and um, and uh, and um, and a uh, uh, capture. Uh, so uh, after that, uh, I shall do that. But I keep in the everybody in the. I don't know, but with me, uh, five minutes I shall give for they and I I work in the capture and the neck and the lower back for they. After that, uh, I I shall I so give five minutes for they. I do for half and the I do little for half. And I know okay. the, when I, yeah when after massa and the people and the uh, yeah, stay up longer longer uh, I think in the half the five minutes for in the half I think it's okay and and um, of course so many things I <laughs> so many things but um, um, 
sometimes at the when I work with the, the customer and I show uh, people, uh, customer of the first time say oh I want deep massage and the some say and the, I want you know, I want in the light massage but I show say with customer and I want ask okay and then you want deep massage and I I start with medium first if you want more I should do more for you so you know uh, sometimes you customer say I you do deep for say but and uh, sometimes they pay yeah. really pay yeah. because they don't know the how much uh, deep uh, how much is the uh, right. deep you you doing right. and so so say with customer uh, okay I I don't I do the medium for you first if you want more deep. And I should do for you deep if you want. But so uh, all in the customer I do, I only do medium because they they in the I know when is the when people work for massage they so pain about the lower back and uh, neck. Yeah. But but um so uh, I think in the all in the student but um with me too and so everybody need to be careful with the, the something in the talk too loud with customer on the room maybe maybe that room can hear about the uh, in the people's talk yeah um i'm really glad i called on you because thank you for reminding me uh, you know about like i'm asking for feedback about the locations and things like that and i really wanted that but you're also kind of bringing this back to the learning experience and just what you know, you witnessed about customer service again. Um, and so I appreciate you bringing us back to that. Uh, many people commented on that, but by the way, you kind of remind me, like about the importance of spa voices, we call it, and about respecting that there's stuff going on in other rooms and kind of keeping the whole environment there. And about pressure too, the concept that they don't know what your deep is. And so you've got to find out what's deep for them because you can, they can be very sore and hurt. And um, Yeah, so thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Because I want to everybody know about the because in the deep in the not mean about really deep and because in the some uh some in the customer say in the they want deep but not mean about deep but need to start in the medium first. Yeah, I agree because well, this is why I ask you to ask about more or less. Sorry, I'm playing with the camera over here. This is why I ask you to ask about more or less pressure because um deep doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah, so I, mean, I really I don't. It's like that's nothing. like telling me something spicy, you know. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like I know people that think black pepper is spicy, and I know, you know, people that rub peppers in their eyes and don't think it's spicy. So it's it's yeah, very good, very well said. Thank you. Good, good stuff. Um, would you go back to that place for if we had another externship? Would you go back to that place, Mister Yen? Uh, I sure want to uh, go back in the Aramon. And so, and the board also okay with me because uh, I am in the student. I want to go to learn more. Good. And so, yeah, and so I so want to come back. Maybe I learn more and the experience they have. And uh, good. Yeah. So you and, like you liked it. It was good. Yeah. And okay. So um, I can tell you something. Okay. Uh, some in the of course when I do master, I think I do a lot uh, a lot in the customer there. I think I do a lot. Yeah. <laughs> same in the same, same in the Zenny and uh, Hunter, but I I can in the say uh, thank you in the Zenny and uh, Hunter and the so explain for me about what in the what they say and thank you for them team. I thank you for team in the work with me yeah. and uh, yeah and some I mean um, sometimes about talking about in the team right yeah. in the customer team but I so have uh, the customer team but maybe in the three people four people team for me but I I don't want to take in the same money and so I saw already in the talk week in the money the about that uh, they say they ask me in the why I say I came here as a student of course I'm very happy when have team but and they show the worker they work every day they so want to have team but they in the give for me in the time for in the training on the day body and I mean, I mean, I want to, I, I say to them, I really thank you about that because I already, uh, them already in the late for me work for they over, uh, they body, right? Yeah. Sure. But I don't want to take, take tip because, uh, I want in the, I want in the, they get that because yeah. I thank you only that for training. 
So not mean about in the everything and the I want 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 more and not that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And I'm glad you had some friends there to help out too. Yes. Speaking of friends, uh, Miss Hunter. Since I've talked to Miss Petrie and Miss Nguyen about their elements experience, do you have any comments? You don't have to, but do you? Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, um, I wrote a few notes. Um, yes, uh, I agree with Miss Petrie. She said a lot of awesome things. Um, <coughs> a lot of it has to do with if you were an employee there, because um, she did go through, uh, the boss lady went through a lot of like, if you were to work for us, this is how things work. But because we were externing, uh, we did not get the 15 minutes in between, right. um, which is fine, because yeah. um, it's all learning experience. But we did get five minutes in between, <laughs> um, and uh, that was, uh, I found that's really hard for me. I probably, um, even though there is 15 minutes um, stated for the employees, um, they, I was told, maybe I got this wrong, but I was told that the only reason they do 15 minutes is because of COVID because they need time to air dry the sanitation between oh, customers. That, that could be, that could be, it could be so, a new thing. I didn't know that. That makes sense. Yeah. That that's what sense. they said. I think generally it's less than 15 minutes. It really but I don't, <laughs> um, so that's one thing because the five minute thing, like I, maybe this is TMI, but I had to do number two at sure. one time. And I couldn't because I only had five minutes between clients, and I do not like that feeling. No, no. no. <laughs> By the way, I always said I don't know if this. I always said that like I never minded doing massage. I mean, massage was physically hard, but I never minded doing the physical part. What I disliked most about massage was having to put my own bodily needs on hold to right. do the massage. Right? You can't cough. You can't sniffle. You can't mm. breathe. You can't breathe heavy, even though you're doing something that requires hard work. But you right. can't be a, right. You can't mm -hmm. pee. You can't do all that stuff when you want to. And that was actually the hardest part of massage was mm -hmm. was what you're describing. Yeah, not the massage. Yeah, I mean it was hard, like uh, physically, just because uh, my body's not used to well, it is. Yes. in a row. But um, but yeah, like yeah, the bodily yeah that wasn't cool. Like, that, like stuffing your face between in two minutes, like that's yes. insane. <laughs> um. So that, uh, da, 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 da. and that's a good reason, uh, by the way, to work on your own. Like if you, well, if, yeah. because the corporate settings will always have that kind of bam, bam, bam. And if you book your own clients, you can do a one o'clock and a three o'clock. Now you're not getting paid during that downtime, right. but the point is you can space out your appointments if you want. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. And I wanted to say on that, um, it does appear that they are very like, oh yes, you can make your own schedule with us. We're very flexible, etc. Um, but she mentioned, uh, the manager did mention that a lot of new graduates come in demanding certain things and she does not like that. She's like, that's not how the world works. No. And I was like, whoa, holy crap. <laughs> no, that's, that's <laughs> because true. Because at first I was like, oh, they, they're very, you know, flexible and they'll work with me. But she's like, no, you have to prove yourself first. And I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> well, here, here's why. Just to let you know, because I used to be in that position. Um, mm. So if I've got somebody who's worked for me for three years and you come in and you say, I only want to work Monday through Friday, I mm -hmm. think, well, Miss Petrie's been working for me for three years and she's been working Saturdays and Sundays for three years and she's been waiting for a weekday schedule to open up. You're going to give it to your senior person to reward them. Um, they don't, by the way, all of you, they don't mind if you walk in and say, I'll only work Saturdays and Sundays. If you actually came into any massage place and said, I'll only work Saturdays and Sundays, that's it. They'd hire you right there. What they don't like hearing is I only want to work Monday through Friday mornings. They're like, we don't need people for Monday through Friday mornings. Like those are, that's the stuff that people go to later on. So yeah. But anyway, that's the truth. You're right. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. Like they're caring, but they're still running a business. Yeah. Right. And I understand that they have to run a business. Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, uh, they, um, I just wanted to say, uh, they, they trained us on the prenatal table and we went through scenarios on yeah. how to place the um, person uh on the table um, and how to get them off safely. Um, but it wasn't necessarily like exactly like what to do in a prenatal massage. She really was just showing us how to work the table. Yeah. Um, because the table was like, I guess, relatively new to most people there. Yeah. Uh, because most people were doing sideline. 
Yeah. So, um, so that was the focus on that. And um, regarding Himalayan salt and cupping, if you get hired there, they will train you on that. But they won't like just they didn't do that for us as students, and they they just didn't have a class open, which is fine. Uh, but I just wanted to get that distinction. Because uh, I was, uh, I think um, at one point, uh, Train was like, oh, if we come back here as students, you'll train us on this? And they're like, no, if you get hired here, we will do that. <laughs> I will tell you what, though. Uh, I don't, I mean, don't quote me on this, but I know they've done it for my students in the past, the elements that you were at. They would, if they liked you, like from something like this, which they did, they will give you a job when you graduate school. You still can't work on people, right? Because you're waiting on your license two, for two months. And they will train you on the Himalayan salt and all that stuff while you're waiting for your license. So you're getting a little bit of income coming in and they get you all trained up. So literally the day your license comes in, bam, they're booking you. Yes, so. that is true. I worked on one lady who was a therapist there. She likes it. Um, she said because of COVID, it took her instead of one month or two months, it took three months. And that's the standard now because yeah. of COVID. Um, and so it took her a long time, but they hired her. Um, and so they just paid her minimum wage and be before she got her license, she just worked on the massage therapist. She said, just like what we were doing. So she still got paid, but she wasn't able to, uh, <laughs> she wasn't able to work on the clients. Uh, but, oh yeah, but she's not able to work on the clients because her license. I don't think, by the right. way, I, uh, well, I don't want to overpromise. I just had some, oh, yeah. I just had some students get their license in two months, so it, they might have gotten back on track. Even during COVID. Even during COVID. Oh, okay. So I'm hoping that <laughs> I'm hoping that was just her experience. Um, yeah. Okay. And by the way, by the time you guys graduate, hopefully we'll be starting to come out of this COVID thing. Like your graduation should line up very closely to things starting to come back in line, right? Vaccines are going out, things like that. Um, anything else, ma'am? Yes, I have a few things, but I'm Hopefully. so sorry. Like, I don't want to take up time. I was actually hoping other people would talk before I talked. <laughs> well, I, I mean, we heard from a lot of people. Um, okay. I, I feel like people that wanted to speak got to speak, and, and we still have time. And I set this day aside for one thing only, which was to debrief on our experience, right? To kind of say hi to one another again, to debrief on our stuff, for me to learn what I need to do differently next time, places, we just everything. Like... That's part of the learning experience, right? So please share more. Thank you. Um, I think that some people, um, the therapists, they do give good feedback, but I think that some of them, they're not uh, teachers, basically. Right. Um, so, like, they, um, they, they're not good at giving constructive feedback. So yes. because they can't give constructive feedback, they just say it was good. <laughs> and, um, you know, and then that's it. And then the truth is it really wasn't. Right. Um, I heard some things. I'm probably going to talk to you offline regarding this. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I was just, um, I was listening to people, uh, you know, talk about, uh, the feedback and I, I would appreciate constructive feedback and I don't appreciate liars. <laughs> um, so, um, if I, if you guys, if someone says it's good or, you know, I liked this or whatever, then I really take it to them. So it's really hard to, um, accept it when it's, when they didn't really feel that way or they tell someone else that this is different. I mean, and whatever. Anyway, but, I'll talk to you later about that. Good. Okay. But by the way, get, I don't mean this like in a snotty way. Get used to it because I feel like that is a very common thing. Like clients just don't, like you just rubbed them for an hour and they just don't tell you the truth. That doesn't make right. it okay. I'm, not, I'm just saying take that into your calculation. Right. Not okay still, but take it into your calculation. Anyway, um, more, please. Uh, okay, so for people thinking about where to work uh, or where to either work or to do their externship, I do um, I do believe that Scottsdale is uh, in general probably best better if they are going to go to either Elements or Massage Envy. Um, it's just there's money there. Yep, and um, the therapist there, uh, one of the therapists at Massage. He, like, is super great. Like, he has, like, he works on people who have, like, a metal cage as a back and all sorts of crazy, like, he, he takes on the challenging, you know, clients. Um, and he's like, I have plenty of clients that will get me through. I don't really need to work here. However, I do because the tips are great and I, um, the insurance. 
And that is the only reason. He basically kind of almost talks smack about, you know, the rich uppity pe- clients that come in. Sure. And, like, he's really, like, upset because they don't take care of themselves but expect him to fix it. And it's all bad. <laughs> so, um, yeah, for the externship, um, I don't know if you guys caught what Trey said. I won't repeat it. Um, but there's money there. Yeah. And they are freely giving money. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and be very careful because of licensure about accepting money. But yes, I'm sure that some people... Right, try, I understand I'm that. sure some um, people tried to tip you, and I'm sure you didn't accept it. Um, right. By the way, so, the, oh, what, can I interrupt for one second just to comment on this? So there are lots of angles to working at a, a really good place when you guys graduate. One angle is to go into a high-dollar area, like what, what Ms. Hunter's talking about, Scottsdale. The other angle is to be a big fish in a small pond, and that's to find a place where there's not a lot, of, a lot of other competition. So sometimes when you're out in Surprise, or when you're in Prescott or whatever, um, that you're the only game in town, and sometimes that's very helpful too. So just there's just different ways to kind of play this. Um, keep going, Miss Hunter. These are great comments. Thanks. Um, and uh, um, I guess all, along with the Scottsdale thing, you do have to be okay with working with a certain type of clientele because they are the types who will like, expect a lot. Um, and, uh, yeah. So that's the downside to Scottsdale, I would assume. Um, uh, and I'm just, uh, I'm just giving this information from a therapist that told me this information. Um, just so you guys know the idea on that, but it may not be important at this t- point in time because we're still students. Well, um, you get like you're absolutely right. If you want to, if you want thirty dollar tips, people that give thirty dollar tips expect a certain level of service, you know. Right. And if you are at a chiropractic office, by the way, where they don't allow tipping and you're fixing people's backs, it's a different level of service. It's not the massage is worse, but it's a different level of, of service. You're absolutely right. And you're right. They expect a lot. I worked at the Princess in Scottsdale. They expect a lot. Right. Um, uh, just one more, well, two more things. Um, I, I did ask the manager if it's been difficult to find a massage therapist during COVID. Um, she said, no, it's easier. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she said it's straight up easier um, because a lot of uh, a, mo- a lot of massage therapists were furloughed, right? And oh. then, like, so now they're coming back, oh. and so there's tons of them. See, tons I, of therapists. By the way, I said that because I get emails every day where they're like, we can't find therapists. I know, which is interesting. I mean, I was thinking about what you said, but yeah, yeah she said that everywhere. They, they also said that uh, they keep hiring people and nobody wants to work. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They can't get people to, to come to work. Yeah. Like, we hire them, and they won't come. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, if you are, by the way, if you are friendly and reliable, you are already better than 90% of the therapists out there. I'm sorry. Because a lot of therapists aren't that reliable, and they're not that friendly. And, like, you guys will do really good just if you just show up every day and work the schedule they want, because they have a hard time finding reliable people. So, more, Miss Hunter. Yes, um, two more things, sorry. Receptionist, um, you can totally get hired as a receptionist um, right now while you're in school. Yep, you um, One location didn't want to hire uh, people in school for receptionist because they spend so much time training you that by the time you're now a therapist, they have to hire another receptionist. Yes, I've heard. So, that. And they train the receptionist more than the therapist. Yeah. Because they have to um, do sales, yeah. There's that, and then another location was happy to receive uh you know students because then they have another massage therapist once they've got their license so it's like already on deck basically so very happy with that however being a receptionist there i worked on two uh, therapists and both of them had a lot of negative stuff because i was thinking about maybe i should get a job as a receptionist and i'm like maybe not (laughs) it's it's uh by the way if you're a spa manager it's the most important position in the the place, right? You think it'd be your massage therapist, but it's actually the, the booking agent, the receptionist, because they're the person that makes sure they match you with the right person. And they book people tight and they deal with complaints and they deal and they keep your place stacked and everything. Yeah. And it's a hard job. Well, if anyone wants more information on the reception thing, I won't waste more time talking about it, but like, let me know. And then um, in conclusion, I would probably go to a different location mainly because I want to experience different things. 
So, um, they were great. Uh, they did do the whole, like, they gave us a little gift at the end, and they were, uh, they said all three of us are welcome back there, um, and such, and I think she even basically gave us a job offer as well. Um, but I, show, um, yeah. I would like to experience other places, um, but that's just me and my, my nature. Like, I like to learn as much as I can from different things. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would, um, I would... Honestly, probably uh, try for um, still the same area, but uh, massage and beat. Yeah, check them out. I agree. I think that's a really good idea. Um, cool. So remember that if we do this again. Remember, like, no, I don't want to go back to the same place. But but I'm hearing that it was a good experience. You just want more variety. Right. Good. Cool. That was, by the way. A lot of your, a lot of your students are there, by the way. Tons of your students are there. They've been <laughs> they've been partners with us for a long time. So that's did, were you the who was who was it sent me. A, told me about talking to a student, what was her name? And I said, I wrote back to you and said about the bananas. Oh, I don't know, but I do know this girl named Wendy Pies High. <laughs> Who does? Wendy, girl named Wendy. She's like, tell them, tell Mr. Barham, <laughs> tell Scott I said hi, and I was like, all right, I'll make sure I do that. I gotta go look her up now. <laughs> Problem is, I, I know everybody's last name, so now I gotta figure out who Wendy is. Um, cool, That's thank you. Right. Thank you. Um, okay. You were going to say something, Miss Giannis? No, he asked. It was me about the bananas. Did you tell her? Yeah, I did. And she said, oh my goodness, I miss him so much. So that was, the, I think I told you about this. So you met an old student of mine. And I told you guys about this student. Every day for gratitude, she gave gratitude for bananas. And it wasn't because she wasn't, like, grateful for other things. Sometimes she gave grateful gratitude for other things, but it was always bananas also. And so every time I was at the store, I'd get her a banana because a banana is honestly like 13 cents. One banana is the cheapest thing you've ever bought in your life. And I'd leave it on her desk. And so I just, she's super sweet. And I loved her, loved her. Um, and yeah, so I just, the minute you said who it was, Perla, right? I was like, oh, the banana girl. Yeah, that's great. That's good. Thank you for telling her that. Cool. Well, I'm glad to know my students are out there and flourishing. Um, I know that we've been talking for a long time and I apologize, but I really do think it's part of the learning experience. Like each of you shared things with me I didn't think about, period. Um, so I really, really appreciate it. It gives us all a lot to think about, about where we work and about what customer service is and what do we want and all that kind of stuff. Um, anybody else? We have 11 minutes and I can't let you go for the last 11 minutes. So yes, Miss Stanley, talk to me. I have that question now. Yeah, what's your question? So, for the next, you said we have two days and then we have a break? Well, thank you. So, let me answer that question. So, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow will be everybody's last day. So, you guys have one more day after today and then it's break time. We had extra makeup days in there, but I've got some makeup time tomorrow. Um, and Miss Stanley, you spent, Miss Stanley, by the way, had a lot of, I just want everybody to know what's going on. She had a lot of makeup time to do because she was absent, but she did an extra yeah. externship day. They said, hey, can we keep her Friday? And I was like, she's got a lot of time to make up. Of course you can keep her Friday. And so she already did six hours on Friday. And so that kind of catches her back up with everybody else's makeup time. And so absolutely everybody will finish this class and, I'll double check grades, and graduate this class tomorrow. So your break will start tomorrow at some point, everybody. Um, some of you sooner than others, right, obviously. But anyway, um, so I'm really excited that you will actually, you're going to get like three and a half weeks of uh, winter break. So does that, was there more to that question, Ms. Stanley? Is there still going to be, like, lab tomorrow? Uh, for some of you, yes. I believe you'll have to come in for lab. Yeah, but not for everybody. Some of you are going to do lecture and go. I didn't know how it was going to work, because I didn't know if you were going to keep us for those extra hours online. You have to I mean, three I'll, more hours online. I'll, I'll check. No, no, you're right. I'm not. If it's three extra hours online, you're coming in for lab. But if it's 15 minutes online and you don't want to come in for lab, you know what I mean? I'll work with you tomorrow. I'm going to pull everybody's hours today and double check. If that makes sense. I'm sorry, I'm not giving you a clearer answer. Um, but for example, Miss Stanley, you would probably come in for lab tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. But if it's really close, I will not make somebody drive in for something really close. I'll just stay online with you. 
but I don't want to do six hours of online lecture. Does that make sense? Um, but we got options. Yeah. We'll figure stuff out. We really will. I'm totally open to whatever. And when I run your hours, I'll know more when I know exactly when you'd be leaving. Um, and I do have online projects. Like I have online assignments you can do. So it's an option. Hey, Mr. T. Uh, yes, sir. Do we have a final? No, you don't have a final for this class. You guys are done with your tests. That's it. So pretty much like the grades that are there, the grade, they're like our grades. You're going to see them move a tenth of one percent, maybe. Because we score your surveys, but not like based on whether you were good or bad. We score like your attendance and things like that. And we don't even, we score it like out of the, I don't know, 2,000 points you got. This is worth like five points. I'm not exaggerating. It's just so we can track it. I, if I had to guess, nobody will see their score move at all from this point on. You're absolutely right, sir. If you are passing now, sir, you're passing. If that's where you're headed. Um, miss? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, you do need to go to lab today. It's a regular okay. day today. Come to lab today, please. Yes, I have the one question. I have and don't be late, guys, because we're almost at the end here. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have the 15 minutes for wake up time, and so when I start. We're going to do that tomorrow. You, I don't think you're going to have to come to lab tomorrow, Mr. Yen. Okay. Yep, yes. Just, But come to lab today, just like always. And come to lecture tomorrow. Be here at 8 a.m. on this thing in the morning. Just okay. like always. Don't change anything. But yeah, this is probably the last day you're going to drive to school, Miss Nguyen. Yeah. Uh, Miss Hunter, you have your hand up. Thank you for being so patient. Yes, sir. I just wanted to ask Miss Felix Osuna her, um, her, uh, her experience because I haven't heard from her. Yeah, thank day. you. Thank you. Well done. Good teacher. <laughs> yeah, of course she's talking about you. She wants to hear from you. Um, so on Friday I had a training, so I went to the there and then they pretty much told me what it was going to look like when I, have a, when I was going to come in. So like sitting up there from the towels, the sheets, the face, um, the face sheets too and all that. And then with the cleaning after the client that was we're done with the client and all that. And um, on Monday, I was booked for four massages, and I only got one because um, I guess the person was the manager, but she had to cancel because she took her dog to the vet or something like that. And then the second massage, I guess it was the girl in the front, the receptionist, but um, she said that she was busy, so she didn't really have a chance for that. And then these the lead massage therapist came in and then I gave a massage. It was good. I mean, I was better nervous. Yeah, I bet you were. Mm -hmm. Hey, by the way, everybody, just to let you know, that's kind of how massage places work. You'll walk in and you'll be fully booked for the day. And you'll be like, oh my gosh, it's going to be such a busy day. And five out of six yeah. of your clients cancel. And then you'll walk in the next day and you'll be like, I don't have anybody all day. And you end up massage books. And you come out of that one, another one's booked. You come out of that one, another one's booked. Another, then they're asking you to stay late. Like, it's just, you never know what to expect. What else? Tell us what else yeah. about your experience. Um, and then I only had one massage on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I had one. It was um, another receptionist. And I guess she gave me a bad review because... Um, I don't know if she had received a massage from the like therapist there. Yeah. Or if she is in one. I don't know. It was just a bad review. It was like, okay, it's whatever. I don't really care. It was a learning review. Yeah, don't don't call it bad. Yeah. Uh huh. And then on Thursday, I had two. It was the lead massage therapist again and then another therapist. And then on Friday, I had, I think I had two more. I don't remember, but I had like six massages overall. Yeah. And all, Two of them were their kids, so it was like, um, I didn't really learn a lot. Of it. I did ask around if they could like shadow me and like give them a massage and all that, but it only happened once, so I was like, okay, yeah, let's move to. Um, I didn't think that. So I would come in early and there would be a massage therapist, and they, they didn't work until like 12 or later, and then they. I didn't bother asking if they wanted a massage because 
obviously they were taking great care eating our you know the clothes. I was like, oh it's okay. It's okay, I'll just you know sit down. Um that was pretty much it. Would you go I back there? That. Um honestly no. That's what I wanna know. That's cool. I'm not by the way, I'm not gonna go back to your guys' massage places and say they wouldn't go back. They'll they'll I want it's more for you to share with one another, right? To be like yeah, I wouldn't go there. That's why I'm asking you to share this. I'm not going to go back and tell them that, to be honest with you, because what will happen is it'll take care of itself. You just won't go back to places you didn't like and places that everybody was like was great, more people will go there, right? Plus, if we do this again, we'll try to have even more places on our list, right? So, yeah. this, this was a trial run. So, no, I appreciate your honesty. Um, and I'm sorry. It was wasn't... nice. Everyone was nice. Good. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah, at least they're I nice. I only saw the manager like two times. The week. So I didn't really bother going up to her asking for, like, you know, if I have any massages today because they had this paper on the door that I would check on. Yeah. And it was pretty blank, so I was like, yeah. okay. I did, by the way, expect this to be hard for the managers. If you're a manager, you're mas managing massages all day, not an externship. But, um, so I thought it would be a challenge. Anything yeah. else that we should know? Mm, no. Okay. Thank you for sharing, and Miss Hunter, thank you for asking. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you for getting feedback from everybody. A little equity in the classroom. Um, anybody else? We have two minutes left. It doesn't have to be about this. Anybody want to share anything? Anybody get a new puppy in the last last week? Did anybody get a new hairstyle? Anybody eat a new food they've never eaten before? Anybody? Anything. So let me be really clear, since I've got this time, we've got one minute. Everybody comes to lab today on time and stays the whole day. Tomorrow, everybody comes to lecture tomorrow, but many of you will not come to lab tomorrow. And no matter what, everybody will be done tomorrow unless one of you knuckleheads doesn't come to lab today. All right? <laughs> so everything is running on time. I'm going to run your hours so I know officially tomorrow morning I can tell you really specific things. But... Um, but yes, everybody will be done tomorrow. Some of you will be done early. Some will be done late, but you'll be done. And and I, I will work with you about the lab thing, too, if you really don't want to drive in and, and there's stuff you want to do online. I've got stuff to do, so it'll work. Yes, Miss Belotic, yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. My hand lost it. <laughs> that's okay. As long as you, yeah, felt like you could speak up, that's good. Okay, um, I think... This concludes our session. I want to thank you again for, for I have to meet with these organizations later to talk about how the externship went in general. And I'm really glad that I don't have to hear about complaints on their end because I already got emails from all of them. Um, and I didn't hear one negative thing. I'm not, I'm not even a little thing. Um, and so I, I just heard everybody was positive, friendly, kind, easy to work with, enthusiastic, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I, I just makes my job a lot easier. I really appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you guys today. Drive safe. Come in on time so I can calculate your hours accurately. It makes my life easier. Um, I look forward to you graduating the second class of your four-class massage therapy program before you go on your winter break. Bye, everybody. No, sir. I'm